Hello, everybody. Welcome back to episode three, or rather, night three of the Napcast. Uh, this is a little podcast that we do that talks about Pokemon sleep and associated uh, associated studies and things related to Pokemon sleep. Uh, this is our official Math Chord podcast for the Sleep Math Chord. Uh, today, we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, about recipes. We've already done a recipes episode before, but we're doing recipes part two now, including level 30 recipes and all that like. Uh, today, we have myself, Math Geek Krill, uh, the, the primary host, followed by our secondary host, Anders. Say hello. Hey guys, I'm back. And we have a guest with us, uh, our third advisor to the Math Chord. We have Wave. Say hello, Wave. Hi, everyone. So yeah, uh, we're just going to be talking a little bit about uh, ingredients, recipes, islands, but at the level 30 point. Uh, there is a fairly complex interaction uh, between mons that uh, are good on islands and the recipes you can make. As a general conceit, you usually want to have uh, mons with the correct berry that have berry finder S in the first slot, um, or second slot, but usually first slot is easier because if you have 10... Uh, 10 uh, friendship then you get that you get a gold for free um and given that we said well given that conceit of oh somebody said that i can't find the oh hmm. um given given that like conceit of only using mons that have favored berries with the uh you know with berry finder s in the first slot we were like okay what recipes can you actually make with that base structure? Um, only mons that are, you know, that that are that island's mons. So I built up a little spreadsheet. I did a little analysis. And we're going to be talking about that this episode. Um, Wave, you did have a couple things you wanted to mention before we actually dove into it, though, about, con- about the conceits of the episode. Uh, yep. So I want to mention, obviously, like you said, best case scenario, all of the mons on your team have favored berry because then you get that huge value from berry finder S. But in some cases, depending on how much you want to focus on recipes versus berries on your team, there are a lot of good options where, let's say, on an island, I'm able to get an ingredient with a berry spec, but they don't give me that much. And if I really want to make this recipe three times a day all week, you could swap that out for an off island that just is either like an ingredient spec or something that just gives a higher quantity of that ingredient. And so... You guys have that flexibility. It's honestly up to you just how much you want to focus on. I want all favored berries. Give me the berry value. Or if you really want to level up your dishes. The notable thing is that when you are... like, You can make the decision to jump away from berries to get a mon that has better recipes. But as a general rule, berries will get you about twice as much value as recipes will. Um, so... If you can keep as many berry mons as possible, throwing away recipes is usually better than throwing away berries. So we're trying. Uh, the reason why I wanted to use this central conceit is because it provides the backdrop of we are not going to compromise on berries. What structure do we have for recipes? You can very yeah. well say let's compromise one of our berry mons and say we'll just get a decent other mon to fill in the recipe gap, and that will provide you some much better recipes. For sure, but. If you're just swapping out one mod into just any other mod that works for recipes, your flexibility significantly increases, but it's going to be an evaluation you're going to have to make in the moment. What is your least good mod in this theoretical team you can build, and would sacrificing it for something else actually be more valuable otherwise? The answer can be yes, but that's entirely dependent on your team, on your leveling, uh, on a bunch of other theory involved in it. And I figured, let's just talk about optimality and then put aside the extra flexibility somebody might want to take situationally on their team. Yeah, yeah. for sure. For sure. I like that um, a lot because it gives you that kind of floor of, okay, I have all of these mods and they're all giving me favorite berries. Like that gives your team an awesome floor every week that you're going to hit regardless whether or not you're hitting all your recipes. Yeah. And exactly. your ideal like golden team is just how do I make really good dishes while, you know, theoretically having five, like f- berry specialist with berry finder and you still hit all those things that's not realistic you're probably going to be having ingredients mixed in and everything but you want to get as much berry value as you can while hitting the highest tier possible dish so that's basically what we're exploring what's also really interesting is that 
for uh, for a lot of mods, first of all, we already talked about this during the previous episode, but I'll go over it briefly again. Each mod seems to have some kind of hidden internal odds to get uh, to get ingredients every drop, and it kind of favors ingredients mod to get ingredients more often, and it kind of favors berry mods to get berries more often, but only very slightly. Um, however, if you have a low frequency ingredient mon versus it's like low frequency meaning like it's uh like it's a small number rather a let's very say good frequency or an hour let's say let's say good frequency ingredient mon as opposed to high or low versus a bad frequency berries mon the value you get out of the ingredients can often be completely can be better than the one you would get for the berries yeah. um when when an ingredient drops it's just gonna be worth its ingredient value but when you're talking about level 30 beyond when you get an ingredient drop on an ingredient mon that can be upwards of 450 or more um a proc. points like points just per one drop of of of, uh, of ingredients that can be quite a lot also um, and especially when you're putting it um, into a recipe that multiplies by the value of the recipe so it can be quite a lot yes exactly i was going to say that same thing as you get your recipes leveled up uh i want to say it can get up to almost like a 2.5 times multiplier yeah, on those just short ingredients. Of yeah yeah and that's I know, a I know, huge difference i know you've been making insane dishes on um top hollow wave like you've been hitting the what overheat ginger Yep, Solid I've thing. I've got that almost to level forty now, so it's definitely Jeez. worth that if you can look at a few recipes and really get their level up there. Exactly. So that's the so yeah, that's the conceit. That's what we're gonna try working on. Uh, we're gonna go through each of the three islands and we're gonna talk about each of the different kinds of recipes you can make there. I have prepared almost everything. Um, I don't have prepared two of the three recipe slots for snow point and i'll get to why when we get there um i also haven't considered clefairy in any of the calculations for cyan okay i'll get to why we haven't when we get there which is very shortly um but it's uh it, it was kind of short notice to get all the details of this like just a couple days ago and i already had a lot of this written like a week or so prior so uh, going back and editing it will be a thing i'll eventually do in the future we might just mention it you know, at some point in the future, if we're doing like a bits and bobs extra episode of information, um, I'll probably include it in things in the math cord. But for now, I think we just kind of leave that be and we don't make it a big, you know, I, um, I we can talk about it, but it won't be part of the calculation. Right? For Sounds good. Green grass. Do you have any like footnotes? Do you want to do that like first well, or do you want to do that last? Because it's I, kind of weird there because of the weird berryness. Yeah. Green grass we can talk about after. I'd like after. to talk about that that's last. Fair. Because I think that's fair. green grass I have written in my notes improvise. Because Perfect. really, it really green is. grass <laughs> is like it depends wholly on what you have available. And because there are so many different types of groupings you can do, which is what? Eighteen by seventeen by sixteen divided by six, I think, which would be uh three by seventeen by sixteen, which is uh, f about 50 by 17, which is like, uh, what's half of 17? 50, 16, four, uh, eight, like, um, like 900, uh, yeah. 850 different possible ingredient combinations, yeah, give or take. Yeah. So like that, sorry, not ingredient combinations, um, very, very common. combinations. Yeah. So given you have a, like, that's just mental math off the top of my head is something around there. So like 800 to a thousand kind of thing. That's the number of different kinds of berry options you might have. And there are going to be some weeks where just having one of those berries might get you a decent ingredient by itself. Um, like a decent, uh, decent like recipe grappa. by itself. Yeah. Like if you have grapea, congratulations. You have you apple juice. Jackpot. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, grapea is going to be, you, you don't even give a shit about recipes at that point. Yeah, you, you have stack a, a bunch of right and don't things. give a shit. Just like, let's just bring in five berry finder right to Amphros <laughs> and we just win. We ball. Yep, exactly. Um, so yeah, we'll talk about that at the end because there's a lot to consider, but it's kind of like, we could probably freestyle on that for a good long while, and I'd like mm -hmm. to do the structured stuff first. That's, that's fair. It. I just wanted to know where it was placed before we started. Yep, right at the very end. So, let's start off with Cyan. So, uh, I'm going to quickly pull up... Yep, that's uh, Water, Flying, and Fairy for anybody watching. That is yep. water flying water fairy. Flying fairy uh, which I'm going to quickly talk about all the mods that are available in that area right now. I have it up on my screen here, but there's no visual to the podcast, so I'm just going to talk about that directly. First of all, uh, we have Squirtle, 
I'm actually not going to talk about... Oh, another thing I want to talk about before we do anything else. Hmm. I will be briefly mentioning, but not really relying on ingredient magnet and other skills. Um, skills do not particularly play a part in recipes. We are just going to ignore the pot size requirement because that'll be a thing eventually and there's yeah. other discussions about that i'm also going to say for ingredient magnet we can consider it but i'm not going to make it essential conceit because okay. ingredient magnet it's is random yeah it's and it's not consistent enough for us to be able to rely on whereas ingredient drops are at least minimally consistent enough given a large enough sample size yeah ingredient magnet just isn't on you the note for it, ingredient magnet give you flexibility but yep yeah. On the note for ingredient magnet, like it's good for filling out pot space. It's really good for filling oh, out pot fantastic space. Fantastic, but you can't rely on it like to make a melty omelet every day. Exactly. You can't like, if, guarantee if you, ten If eggs. it comes up that way, it's nice, um, and that'll allow you to make a couple recipes that aren't on this list occasionally. Uh, but it's one of those things that it, you kind of just let it happen when it happens, and it's nice when it happens, but it's not going to be your consistent game plan, right? Yeah. So. With that said, let's start off with the only eight lines that are available on uh, for cyan. There is Squirtle, which uses Moomoo Milk and Soothing Cacao. So it's Moomoo Milk as the first ingredient, Soothing Cacao as a second. Um, the way that level 30 ingredients work is when you reach level 30, uh, or when you get your mom, but at level 30, it'll randomize between its second tier ingredient and its first tier ingredient at a 50-50 odds. So yeah. having a Milk Milk Squirtle, 50%. Milk cacao squirtle, fifty percent, and then at, at, at tier three, it would be uh, all three possible ingredients at a one in three odds for each of them. So you could have like a milk cacao milk rest of mon, for example. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, so yeah, it's milk then cacao. We're not going to talk about quantity right now. We'll talk about that in specifics. But yep. uh, after that, we have Jigglypuff, which is honey then oil. Then we have side up, which is cacao then apples. Slowpoke is cacao then tails meaning this is the only tail mod you can get at level 30. Do, uh, Doduo is uh, uh, soybeans and cacao. Totodile is sausage and oil. Togepi is egg ginger. And Swablu is also egg ginger. So, with that consideration, I have a full list of every single recipe that you can make at Cyan. There mm -hmm. are quite a lot of them. I would like to start off with curries, because they're quite restricted. This is the, the yeah. biggest restriction you have on cyan. I want to note um, that yep. when you went through that list, there is a notable lack of fiery herb and soft potato. Yeah. The, the, list of, of the full list of ingredients you have are fancy apple, moo moo milk, green grass soybeans, honey, bean sausage, warming ginger, fancy egg, pure oil, soothing cacao. Those are all of them in ascending order. And There's no a mushrooms handful either. of ingredients. Yeah, and you have no mushrooms. you got no leeks. Um, no potato, no herb, you got like, no potatoes. You got no herb. L losing herbs is quite significant. Um, yeah, they're big for curries and salads. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let me just check, check see if there's anything else we're missing. That's obvious. Oh, and tomatoes. Tomatoes, although they don't seem like it's a big thing, are actually a pretty surprisingly. You can't get them till sixty with slowpoke. <laughs> yeah, and you you, you and cannot it's just slow get poke, right? you can't get tomatoes otherwise in in cyan. I don't think. Which is pretty silly. Tomatoes are a very important keystone ingredient in every single week. For because, sure. Uh, sorry, in every single island. Because tomatoes provide a shocking amount of breadth when it comes to islands. Um, notably, uh, there are some islands that lean really, really hard on tomatoes when we get there. Uh, and although it's like, oh, there's only one tomato, mo uh, tomato mon, you realize, holy shit, we kind of really need to use that mon as it's the only thing that provides yeah. us a lot of these solid ingredients. Now I'm uh, lamenting yeah. that mine is psychic and not fairy. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep going. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, dude, if it, if it was fairy, it'd be so much... Like, you have no idea. When I was when I was thinking about, about like, mime's viability, I was like, it's really not that good because it's psychic. But I thought, mm -hmm. if it was fairy, the amount of flexibility you would have in being able to bring it onto Cyan yeah. is just so much better. It actually becomes one of the strongest mods in terms of recipe acquisition when you bring it onto Cyan, because then you would need it shame. for like so many dishes, but no. Nah. Exactly. Um, so, so even though we're going to be talking about just on Island for those splash options, that means like a victory bell or a duck trio is like not the worst thing to bring on. Right. Yeah. All right. Exactly. Let's get on to Cyan. <laughs> so Cyan, uh, the big curry option you have is, is the drought, uh, the drought katsu curry, or drought katsu mm. curry. Um, 
Oh my god, is it power flashing? Now we're just waiting until the internet actually comes back up a second time. It is like up right now, like it's connecting. It's like I'm connected to the router, I'm just not connected to the internet right now. So hopefully it'll connect in the next minute or so and then I can join the call again. And mm. finally we can just like keep recording the episode. We're half an hour in and we haven't even fucking finished the first time recipe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have said the words drought katsu curry and that is it. Oh. Um. <laughs> okay, how far did I get when I was talking about it? Uh, you got to, yes, Half it has sausage, and then you're about to talk about that it also has oil, and then you cut. Are you yep. kidding me? You didn't hear any of that, like, five-minute fucking rant? Nope. Nope. We heard God sausage, it, and then it was like, yeah, but the funny thing is, it also has cut. <laughs> oh, my lord. Uh, <laughs> this episode is going to be a disaster, and I love it. Welcome uh, to the Nightcast. Scuffed episode. episode I'm not going to cut any of this, by the way. Oh. I might be back in. Hello, can you hear me? Oh yes. my god, we can. You sound fucking hell. Silky okay. smooth. Like you're yeah. about to sell us soap. So true. Perfect. So, okay. The funny thing about Totodial is that it has access to both bean sausage and pure oil, which is huge because it means you can run a rats like strategy where you have five Totodial. Oh, you do no. like. You do like three totodiles that are just sausage, sausage, and you could do two totodiles that are uh, sausage oil, and you will get things consistently to be able to get the drought katsu curry basically every single time. Is the th- issue is that the strategy isn't like broad into other, uh, into other meal weeks. Uh, meal weeks, but if you are curry, that's a really solid five to run. Are we? That's what I wanted to do. Yeah. Are we going to start referring to five of a kind as rats? Are you playing rats yes. this week? Is that, that, that oh is a rat. God. It is officially is is a rat strategy. Example? Because uh, because the first time that we realized that was a viable strategy yeah. was when we were talking about snowdrop oh. ratatas. Rats. Yeah. Because running five, like it was like there's no other option pre thirty. That's a consistent strategy that gets you a recipe every single meal, <laughs> except running five ratata. So that's now the rat strategy. Rat yeah, strategy is rats. running five of a kind. Really uh, we'll probably find rats. a background for that eventually. <laughs> right. Running. Oh no no I know I know what a new I know what rat stands for. It's running all the same. Running all the same. Oh my god. I hate that that works. The rat strategy is running all the same. <laughs> I love it. Dude, I just backrunned that on the fucking fly. I know, I mean, that's, that's, that's what it always stood for. That's what it always stood for. Uh, yeah, for sure. Plan, plan, plan. Exactly. It was plan, 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 plan. All right. Uh, so, yeah. So, yeah. He, he does all the drop katsu. We do, I do want to talk about the other oil option. It's Wiggly Tough. Yeah. True. So, that's the other option, which is not a bad option either. And uh, Wiggly Tough does also have the option of honey, which uh, honey by itself is. Uh, gives you uh, access to the mild honey curry, which means it's a fine fallback. And notably, it does have the energy uh, energy ability. So running Wiggly Tough isn't a terrible choice either. Um, You are going to be struggling a little bit because you're going to be replacing sausage, uh, it's like sausage... a uh, sausage oils w- with a mon that isn't an ingredient focused mon. Mm. Yeah. Either. So you're going to be getting but roughly the same amount of oils, give or take, but you will have significantly less sausage. If the if the equation still works out for you, you can basically build up a honey reserve, which would be really nice for future weeks and or uh just being able to use it on that rare uh, time you can't hit the uh, um, cards, yeah. yeah. But here's the thing though, if you have enough if you if you got enough honey to be able to make a mild honey curry, if you had instead run a totodial, you might have been able to get enough to consistently do the katsu anyways. Yeah, but then that's you have the true. whole energy equation. So it's like it's a whole balance that can be done, and I don't think either is wrong. I think both are yeah, for acceptable sure. ways of doing it. If you have if, like if you don't have all of the totodials, then you can do jigglypuff. But if you if you don't have a good jigglypuff or two, and you've got some really good toter dials that fit this build, then you can do that. It just yeah. fits what, what fits your strategy. Both of them are valid. I think for sure you should pay attention, especially because toter dial line, like that is your high value berry, berry spec on cyan. So those things are going to p- be putting out huge value if you can get berry finding S on them. So you're going to want really well built ones. And a lot of the time you're not going to be able to afford to, if I got like a berry finder S and, um, helping speed m with a good nature like it's an insane for alligator 
you're not really going to be worried about its ink set. So what's possible is you can kind of balance it off your for alligators. So if I'm getting good for alligators, but like they're all double sausage and I'm not getting like very many that are sausage oil, then Wigglytuff becomes a better option because not only is it filling in that oil for you, if all of yours are sausage or most of them, but it also gives you that energy for all, which boosts the production of those insane for alligators. So if you're rolling good for alligators that are sausage sausage, really, really look at Wigglytuff because that can be super exactly. strong. Yeah. Uh, it's it, yeah, that's gonna be a recurring theme in this entire episode. Where it's gonna be here is a strategy that's going to work with a potential backup strategy you can do if it fits your team a little bit better. We're talking like pure optimal here, mm. but there's gonna be some suboptimal lines that that are gonna be more consistent to go into, and some alternate optimal lines that are also consistent to go into, depending on what fits your mind the best. Yep. Uh, to finish Curry, I do want to just point out. Uh, for anybody watching, you cannot hit like Dream Eater Butter Curry. You can't hit Spicy Leek Curry. You can't hit Soft Potato Chowder without adding a bunch of stuff off Island, and it starts getting really muddled and light, mm. like inconsistent and lower value. Um, you can't hit Ninja Curry. Like, there's a lot of really good curries you're missing, and this is pretty much where you end up being. The only maybe option is Bulk Up Bean Curry has a bunch of stuff on Island, but you're still missing the Fiery Herb, so that would need to come from something else splashy so yeah yeah as far as like on island goes it's pretty much drought katsu which is yep. really disappointing because like the although drought katsu is good don't get mm -hmm. me wrong it's a very very good recipe um it's it's just not a decent tier recipe like it's just it's yeah. kind it's just like disappointing right um like it's lacking it, it's just like it's like what a c tier recipe i think yeah somewhere around there yeah which is like every other island, I think, has like some really solid options for for A tier curries, but it just doesn't here. Like it's just, it's just got nothing. Yeah, if you're willing to flex for one single slot, bulk up bean curry is your next best option. Throw on an Ampharos, um, or an Arcanine, or a Gengar, and you can hit bulk up bean curry. So there's that. That's soybean, sausage, herb, egg. Um, you know, Dodrio gives us soybeans, Valigator gives us sausage, egg is from the Tokopi line, like, you have all the components you need there, besides that missing fiery herb. So if you're willing to splash one option, or one slot, like, you are missing that many good berry finders, you could just pull something off island to hit bulk up, maybe. Yeah. But, yeah, it, it's pretty much Particularly, there, I am a huge fan of Ampharos. Yes, I'm biased. It's goaded. Yes, I love lemon. <laughs> but, it's... Uh, yeah, Ampharos is very nice in that it's level 30 egg slot is actually three eggs, which is kind it's of a lot huge. of eggs. Yeah. And so that can help you a lot because Togepi really doesn't put out a ton of eggs and it's not an amazing one in general. So you don't really want to be running it unless you have a cracked one, then obviously. Three eggs, right? But three Ampharos, eggs, yes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah it's a But bunch of Ampharos eggs. giving that value because so much of Ampharos value is in Charge M and Charge M does not give a shit whether or not your berry is favored. Because if you bring that value over, all of that value you're getting from Charge M, you still get on Science. So that makes yeah. it a really nice splash mon. And it, giving you that recipe is kind of huge because curries are so weak on Science outside of Drought Katsu. Yeah. Uh, we and should notably, um, <laughs> finish so your thought, fancy, fancy Egg 3 is also very relevant on, on, funny enough, another mon that's like you wouldn't think is very good, Ekans. Mm -hmm. um, because Snack. Ekans is sausage egg uh, mm. as well. Uh, it, Ooh. but even though egg is in its second slot, it's only two for some fucking reason. Yep. Like every other, mo like for example, Togepi is a fancy egg one. And if it goes into second slot, it becomes two, but it's not an ingredient mon. And then Ekans just also has fancy egg two there. Why? Why does it not have the, the merry fancy egg, in, uh, T two, three? Like it's, it's, it's just so frustrating because it takes a mon that's otherwise pretty shit and say, Hey, we can give it a niche. That's just strictly worse than Togepi. What the fuck? <laughs> Ampharos Supremacy, baby. Ampharos Supremacy. Anyways, so now that we've done talking about the first recipe after 35 On the minutes, first island. Uh, <laughs> ha hearty Cheeseburger Curry is next. Uh, that's the next curry option you have. We're, we're on the first recipe of the first of the three recipe groups oh. on the first island. <laughs> God damn. Okay, so, we can start rapid firing a bit more. Hearty Cheeseburger Curry is the next option. Um, it's... 
not a fantastic option, and it's it's starting to fall further behind, but it does have the benefit of, if you are running for it, it has two backups. You can run Bean Burger Curry, or you can run Simple Chatter. And it's, like, impossible to scenario. miss. It's, like, impossible to miss. You yeah, can't, it's, like, it's, not get it. Yeah, because it, it, it just requires 8 and 8. You're going to yeah. get 8 milk and 8 sausage all the time if you're running a double-double. You double get 24-24 double. every day. Yeah. Um, notably, you'll also notice that this is, requires you to run Totodile again because it's also sausage. Yeah. Totodile absolutely hard carries you on cyan curry. Uh, yeah. So you would want to have sausage, sausage, Totodile. Turtles possible. and crocodiles. The oil does nothing here. Um, but then you have this funny situation where it's like you, you can kind of probably just run like uh, a bunch of to like two or three Totodiles and then like a mo uh, uh, and then also like a mon that gives you some milk like. Uh, like a, uh, a blast like portal, for example. Mm. Well, there, yeah, <laughs> the Vaporeon online does have milk as well, but you could just do or like Squirtle, 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 yeah. like Squirtle Milk Milk is the main yeah. option I'm looking at here. Uh, and it's an ingredient monster, you're gonna get a lot of milk. So you could probably just do like, for example, like uh, two sausage, sausage, totodiles, two sausage, oil, totodiles, and then like a milk, milk, Squirtle, and then you can either make Katsu curry or bean burger curry, depending yeah. on what you have accessible, because they Sounds have a significant solid. overlap there. And if you whiff, you have a bunch of things to fall back onto. So it's just surprisingly good. And Squirtle also has ingredient magnets, so you might end up getting one of the higher up recipes if you fluke into it, right? Mm -hmm. For sure. So and I mentioned really quickly Sylveon there, but it's worth considering because it has that same yeah. E for E thing that Sylveon is so so better right now. And with a milk milk one, like eight milk is not that much. Your Sylveon could be getting pretty close to that. Or with one Squirtle, you hit that all day. So if you have a good Sylveon, definitely a good option to look at if you have yep. uh, the sausage totodiles as well. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, the the drug katsu and the hearty cheeseburger curry kind of go hand in hand with each other. Uh, you can do or the hearty cheeseburger curry rather uh, go hand in hand with each other because they have quite a bit of overlap. Uh, of the most important mons that you need. Uh, everything else that isn't those mons just kind of suck for recipes. Your Psyducks, your Slowpokes, your Doduos, your Togepi, your Swablus aren't doing anything this week uh, if you're on Cyan with Curries. So yeah. moving from that, we're going to mo move to the next uh, the uh, next highest bullshit. Might as well get, yeah, might as well get on with Snowcloak Caesar. It's the same thing as your Bean Burger. What? Sorry, what are you talking about? The snow cloak Caesar salad. It's the same it's as the your same uh, hearty yep. cheeseburger. Yeah, yeah, that's not what I'm starting. I'm starting top to bottom. We're gonna get snow cloak afterwards. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, because snow cloak Caesar is not a good recipe if you're running salads. Really? Because what's funny is that although you have yeah, if you look at uh, you, you have two other uh, salads that are above it. All right. Um, like so, hearty cheeseburger was a good fallback. Had overlap with drug katsu curry, but uh, snow cloak Caesar salad actually isn't that good of a recipe on, on Salad Week, even though you can run the same team. The reason is because you have two significantly better recipes. There is the Contrary Chocolate Meat Salad and Dazzling Apple Cheese Salad. Both of those are reasonably accessible. The Dazzling Contrary Chocolate Meat Salad only requires two ingredients, bean sausage and cacao. Yep. That's it. Now, And half sausage, the mons on Cyan have cacao. <laughs> that's the thing. Uh, there's a lot of cacao options. This is funny because Psyduck and Slowpoke suck. But they both have cacao as their first ingredient. So you could do like a cacao, cacao, Slowpoke and it'd be okay. Yeah, that's or true. Or a cacao, cacao, Golduck and it would be okay. Although and it would, yep. those do exist, but a lot of the time you're going to just be using a Squirtle. And yeah. because Squirtle gets that three drop at level 30, and both of yeah. the other ones, uh, you're just, they're one, two, if you get Cacao, Cacao. So that three drop, and with how much faster Blastoise is than both of those lines, that is generally going to be your line. And then, as well, if you're running that contrary meat, chocolate meat salad, you're probably yeah. not hitting it every time, because 14 no. Cacao is quite a lot. But if you're doing it with Squirtle, you can back up onto Snowcloak because you're going to be getting those milk anyways because Squirtle always has milk first. So those two hand in hand become really solid as kind of a your good recipe. And then, oh, I ran out of cacao, but I have all of this milk from my good Squirtle. And then you hit Snowcloak. So going back and forth between those with just Squirtles and Totodiles again can be really strong. Now, 
I'd like to move to the meme of this uh, of this island, which is dazzling apple cheese salad. Oh Why God. is it a meme? How well, many it's ducks? three. It's three pure uh, pure oil, which is really achievable. It's really solid, really easy. It's five mumu milk and fifteen apples. The so only mon on Saya that has access to apple is Psyduck on tier two. If it was a tier one, you could do apple apple, but nope, it's a tier two, which means you need it's a four drop apple for Psyduck which is terrible. It means you need to have four T2 procs, which is the equivalent of an average of eight procs on okay. Psyduck yep. uh, for recipes, which it can get, but you would need multiple Psyducks. Mm -hmm. And Psyduck sucks. Um, um, but they're... what's really funny about this is that if you're already running milk anyways, because that you're doing the previous strategy... Of uh, of doing uh, of doing sausage milk to have a backup of the snow cloak Caesar salad as we mentioned, which is the same as hearty cheeseburger curry. Um, then you're already gonna have like you're you're already gonna have milk, and you also have uh and you also have uh apples if if you're if you're running running apples you're gonna have to backup cacao anyways. Uh, so if you're run if you're gonna try going for dazzling apple, you're probably just gonna accidentally stumble a couple times into contrary meat salad anyways. Yeah. Um, so I was gonna like, say that you just throw it, like it doesn't a gold work duck well with each other. Others. It doesn't work well, but it's like th there, there's, there's the angle you could take if you wanted to level dazzling apple cheese salad because you might like maybe it's like your better recipe because you've done it a lot in uh, on like uh, top yeah. or something like that. Or if you magically um, have a god tier duck. Yeah, or if you have like a a, a duck that's like. Wow, it's cacao apples, and it's like super heavy ingredient with like, uh, like with like ingredient rate up and exp down or something with uh, ingredient rate up as your uh, s and m as your ten and twenty five. Yeah, or something like you know maybe it has berry finder and like a whatever an ingredient m you evolve it and then it's gonna get like. More inventory space. It has a help speed nature, and then a skill trigger. Like if it like has like the makings of like there's, a good yeah. hit. There's there's ways like, to salvage a duck. Side duck just week. requires like that's the thing. Side duck though, as opposed to other he's mons, weird. requires salvaging. He requires yeah. salvaging. It's just that he's not a good mon by itself. So if you have one that it's solid, then you could do a dazzling apple option. But it's not going to be an option if you're talking about like already optimal mods, right? Yeah. Um, beyond that, we have uh, Snow Cloak Caesar Salad, which is the same thing as Hardy Cheeseburger. You require 10 and 6 instead of 8 and 8. Yeah, 10 it's milk, the fallback for the other sausage. ones. Solid fallback. You have Bean Ham Salad, which is a fallback for even that. It's and if you're doing Dazzling fallback. Apple, and if you have Dazzling Apple, and you're going for Dazzling Apple for some godforsaken reason, you do have Fancy Apple Salad as a very far fallback if you absolutely need it. You probably shouldn't do that as your fallback because your main reason why you're not getting Dazzling Apple is because you don't have enough apples. So using a backup that uses your apples is kind of a waste. I'll show you. I'm going to run one Blastoise, three ducks, and a alligator. I would love to see that. Please. <laughs> if, you, if, if you can do that, all power to you. I'm awesome. just going to make fun of you persistently. I'll make um, fun of myself too, but I like ducks. Now... Anybody who has played the game for a while would take a look at these nine ingredients and say, wow, this could be really good for dessert week. And the answer is yes, it's very good for dessert week. You have basically all the good dessert ingredients. Uh, desserts don't really need fiery herbs or potatoes. So you've gotten pretty much everything else you need. Uh, you've got a surprising amount of flexibility in how you want to be able to build this. Um, the problem comes in which in which recipes are actually decent based on quantity and what mods you have to run. So, for example, Jigglypuff's Fruity Flan requires honey, honey. 10 apples. Oh, that. Sorry. It you... also needs 20 honey. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can do honey. 20 honey is actually not that bad. It's actually probably the easiest thing to reach on this recipe. Because right. uh, with I mean, 20 honey, it has 10 do... milk. That's yeah, so you there. You just do... Yeah, but 10 milk you can also get fairly easily. 10 milk you can get with a, with a, with yeah, a double in, with a double ink squirtle. With honeys you can get two doubled up uh jiggly puffs with a honey two honey honey jiggly puffs. Fancy egg you'd have to do like a double double togepi or swablu which is uncomfortable but possible. But then fancy apple you're like, well, I guess I'm running a Psyduck. <laughs> yep. Which is like, well, that's just shit. You like you you need two and a half procs, which you like an average of 5 procs on on Psyduck per day in, or per like meal yeah, in order to be able to get when it comes plan, to f which is just shit dude when it comes to fruity flan it's a dish that like even if you're set up to make it you're only hitting it once in a while yeah it, it's 
there are some good backup recipes, which we will talk about very briefly, like Lonely Kiss. Mm-hmm. Uh, or Lo- Lovely Kiss, sorry. But, like, it's just bad. It's just straight up pretty friggin' bad. On the other hand, though, if you want to make uh, Jiggly Plus Fruity Flan but better, you have Lovely Kiss Smoothie, which is... Uh, it still requires apples, still requires milk, still requires honey, but replaces the annoying egg with cacao, and it only requires a cacao. What's nice about this is that if you're doing Psyduck for apples, it will naturally grow some cacao anyways, which means you could also throw in either like another Psyduck that's cacao cacao, or a slowpoke that's cacao cacao, and you'll get cacao slowly over time, and it'll give you enough to be able to do that as well. Um, it means you have like a fallback, fallbacky kind of like they're both kind of like falling into each other. If you don't have enough cacao, you can might have enough. Uh, you might have enough eggs and uh, honey to make jiggly plus fruity flan. And if you don't have enough honey and eggs to make fruity flan, you might have enough uh, cacao to make lovely kiss. So they like kind of fall into each other pretty mm-hmm. nicely. Part part of my issue with dessert cyan. So like you have all the tools for dessert cyan. Like there's more on here that we aren't talking about yet. But we'll get there. Yeah. You have all the tools to do stuff for dessert on cyan. Like you don't need the ingredients that you're missing. But it requires a lot of specialization. Yeah, it, you don't really have the situation of like I can just run two mons of like a three two uh, organization yeah. and I'll just get everything I need. You need like you... four or five different species I mean, for most well, recipes. Well, well, that's not entirely true though. Not a, I agree. Like like. It, like the, the if you are doing lovely kiss smoothie, your cacao option can come from your squirtles, which we we'll always talk about. You need squirtles anyways yeah. for milk, so you could do like squirtles with milk cacao, and if you want honey, you could just run a double jigglypuff, and then you have fancy apple, which you could just get from soap uh, with slow uh, soap oak line, which means you're only looking at three different mods in order to get there, which is really not that bad in terms of variability. Yes, it's not like two mods, which is really what's ideal. Be yeah. able to run a three two, but being able to do like a one one three or a one two two kind of spread isn't gonna be awful. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, I was mostly lamenting the lack of like a Swiss Army, like you know, one to two mons, three mons. Like we're yeah. getting three here, but like, well, it's which, not. You have to have very specific in future, ingredient but... hits as well on top of that stuff. Yeah, I think that works really good as a transition into the one right below, lovely, lovely kiss, which is the sweet scent chocolate cake, and that one, Actually, we have one before you that. can get. We have one well, before that. Power wise, which I skipped over. it is right yes. below, and it the is, sweet but scent chocolate. There's one above it as well to talk about. Yeah. Um, that one you do run two months. You can do it with just Squirtles or War Turtle Blastoise and uh, Wigglytuff, really? which is really yeah. really strong because those really two are such a good combo. They're both incredibly strong mons in their own right, and the fact that they hit this, and because such a high percent of this recipe is cacao. For the tier it's in, it's actually quite high power. So it has that same strength going for it as contrary chocolate mm-hmm. meat. Because yep. so, much of it, so much of it is cacao, that's a lot of power that you're getting your multiplier on, which is really strong. The 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 only, like, so the thing about that recipe is on top of having Jigglypuff, which is going to restore the energy to your team, and Squirtle, which has all the necessary other ingredients, and you get the fact you have some cacao fairly consistently. The other notable element is that Squirtle does have... Uh, does have ingredient finder, which means it's gonna occasionally get you a bunch of apples. Yeah. And on top of this, this is a strategy, by the way, that I've been thinking about that I think is actually kind of giga brain. Um, sweet scent ch- ch- chocolate cake is almost the same recipe as Lovely Kiss smoothie. The only yeah. thing you're missing is eleven apples regularly, right? Would you agree with me that over the course of a day, it's realistic to say, even over the course of two days, it's realistic to say. Squirtle is going to get at least one apple over the course of two days. Would you agree with that assessment? Depends on how much you've invested in the main skill, like what level it is. Well, no, but, but even so, even triggers. if you have no investment, well, even if you have no sure. investment, let's say you get an apple. There's a, a chance, yeah, for sure. One well, apple every two days. Come on, like, if, if you're gonna be oh, getting yeah, two one every two day, days for one sure. One every two days is guaranteed, right? So Nearly, yeah. here's a giga brain strategy. Every night before you go to bed. You intentionally reset your card because the first <laughs> on, the first on sleep thing that you get is five apples. Oh my god! So you run sweet scent chocolate cake, and then you can also get five apples off of the off of that every night, which means plus whatever procs you get from Squirtle, you can probably even get Lovely Kiss once a day by the extra five apples you get. If you can get six with all your Squirtle drops, because you're gonna have more Squirtles than you do Jigglypuff, I mean... probably three Squirtles to Jigglypuff, you could probably get. Six apples in a day is not unrealistic. This isn't it's even not talking likely, about adding but... a gold duck on the team either, where you're just yeah, using course. chocolate as more of like a default 
like back up. Yeah. Like, but that, yeah, but like if you don't even have to run Psyduck if you don't want to, but you can run Psyduck on top of that and just to also get apples reliably, and then you can also say I'm gonna tank my my uh, my daily sleep and get five guaranteed apples, which means you can just get a lovely kiss smoothie fairly consistently, especially if you're gonna be the kind of person that like uh, that's like oh I'm gonna sleep for like two hours in the middle of the day, just set your time to then take your two hour nap and then cool you have five apples for your dinner, like it, it's a strategy that's like a little gimmicky but is completely within the confines of the game because you're sacrificing other things for doing it. Yeah. And it provides you enough recipes that you, you can bump up your recipes a little bit every once in a while. That's and I think cute. it's a really cute kind of like hand-in-hand kind of strategy because they're otherwise very similar. Yeah. Yeah, that's super unique. I didn't even realize that that from the card, it's always apples first. It's, it's always, always apples first. That's super interesting. Always apples first. That. Yeah. I yeah. noticed that, but I didn't like pay much thought into you know how am I going to abuse this. But I saw it. I was like, man, I'm thinking of resetting my card every day. What's the first thing? And I, was, I saw it was apples, and I was like, ah. Eh. Mm. But I mean, yeah, if you, if you're willing to do that, like, more power to you. That's very yeah. like it's very fun. So uh, below that we have huge power soy donuts. Um, this is finally Dodrio. Weird. Yeah. So it's Dodrio. Um, I will start off before I say anything else. Um. It has a bit of a fallback to the Hustle Protein Smoothie because it, it um, soy donuts require soybeans, oil, cacao, and Hustle Protein Smoothie requires a lot more soybeans but no oil. So if you're running uh, Doduo, it gets soybean cacao by itself, which means, once again, you can run a rat strategy for Hustle Protein by doing soybeans and cacao. Oh, kind of However, you will get way more cacao than you will soybeans if you just do you know, soybeans plus cacao times five. So you probably have to do like two or three double soybeans plus a couple soybean cacao mons. Um, and then you could also do something that has oil as an ingredient. So you could do like a jiggly puff uh, to give you some oil every once in a while to occasionally bump up the hustle protein into a huge power. I, I like throwing on the jiggly puff instead of going straight rats because you're also going to like really struggle sometimes and you could kind of default into craft soda pop once in a while. Yeah. The being, being able to just, like, occasionally get a fallback. Because the big issue with this recipe is that if you don't hit either huge power or hustle protein, you do not have a fallback. You're boned. You are boned. Uh, there is no, like, mild, like, catch somewhere. It's like, ah, oh, you got a kind of shitty recipe or a really bad recipe at the bottom. There is nothing for soybeans cacao plus oil. Yeah. You, you just have nothing to save you. So um, there are some if you have, like, if you get, like, 80% of the way there. So, like, you can, like... Uh, if you also have like some eggs lying over, you could do uh, something, but like uh, you could do like the, uh, the the cloud nine soy cake. But like it, as a general rule, there is nothing else here that's going to catch you. You are falling to the bottom, and you're going to be skipping a meal, which is very undesirable. So if you can consistently get all of those soybeans, the fifteen soybeans, or you can rack up enough oil consistently to get the nine oil, that's a really good hand in hand kind of pairing that will work fairly consistent for you. Either a rack for strategy sure. or. Um, I, or plus, like, I, I, don't I would say for ninety percent of players, you're probably going to be going the chocolate cake, lovely kiss smoothie route. But if you're set up for those donuts, like, yeah, it's not bad. If, if you have some solid do duos, do trios, you can just say, run them, yeah, and they will do a lot of work for you, and it'll be able to level up that hustle protein really quickly. Notably, the same thing we're talking about before, since all of these recipes all use cacao, they're all going to be relatively high scoring. Um, huge power is slightly higher than than hustle protein because it also includes a pretty high scoring oil, mm. but it doesn't really matter in the end. They're both going to be very high, like very solid, sprintable uh, ingredients. The trio's a mon. The trio's a mon that I recipe? flip flop on a lot, and I get really sad about okay. sometimes because he's so loaded and he's so good. But you're missing so much of the complementary pieces for soybeans on weeks other than dessert. That's that's the thing, is that like when I talk about soybeans and ginger being bad, it's not because they themselves don't have recipes that are good for them. It's that when you're looking at these kinds of analyses of of different like recipes you're building with, you just don't really have the support structure to make them work consistently. Or the other half, which is you have so much support that you all, like, like we'll be talking about uh, t Top eventually, but, like, Top has, like, four mons that run ginger. So, like, if yeah. you already have four ginger mons, adding another one is not going to be helpful. Help. It's not going to be, a, it's not going to make that mon good, right? Your starter Pikachu likely has ginger, too, and, like, that's just another ginger mon, too, if you're one of those people that's just slamming it every week. 
Yep, like, apple, apples and ginger. And you can just run a Pikachu and you'll be fine on a lot of these weeks. If you have an apple, yeah. apple one, and you toss them like, this as your emergency backup and you'll get a lot of recipes here. Yeah, but then also when it comes to ginger, like what you're saying, where it's like not that great, it's because like it's an A plus so B ingredient right. where like yeah. a lot of islands have the A, which is the ginger, but not the B, or they have the B, but they don't have the ginger. But so when you, you do have, have the ginger, you have too much. Bit. Like, yep. <laughs> oh my yeah, goodness. Yeah, that's fair. I definitely, for those two, soybeans and ginger... Outside of dessert week, I like those way better on top. And you'll see when we yeah. get there. But on cyan, those oh, yeah. ingredients, they struggle a lot. I mean, beans, like we said, there's a good amount of value on dessert. But outside of that, it's just nothing. So I would definitely lean towards some of the other meals yeah. over these beans ones. Because obviously, you're not going to get dessert every week. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Speaking uh, of top. Next. <laughs> well, we, we, have, we have a little bit more to go. A little bit lower oh, yeah, like, okay. because uh, because after after hustle protein, there's still there's actually still a lot of other recipes below it, but we're not going to go into all of yeah, them. Yeah, we can. But I do want to go into big malasada. Okay. So oh, big malasada is mumu milk, honey, pure oil. Um, this is interesting because it's another one you can do with Squirtle Jigglypuff, but this one's interesting because it's the opposite of before. Where big mallet, where previously you needed uh, Squirtle doing a lot of heavy lifting. Now you're getting Jigglypuff doing a lot of heavy lifting here. You've got Wigglytuffs that have to run honey and pure oil as their two to be able to do a lot of the ingredients in here. You need 10 oil and 6 honey. So you could just do like three honey oil Jigglypuffs and then two milk milk Squirtles. And you will have a very consistent line that will very often gab you something. And you have two backups in. Uh, if you need it, uh, well, you have sorry, you got um, you've got uh the the honey backup of uh the craft soda pop, and you have the mumu milk backup for the grand uh for big malasada. It's just structurally oh. very powerful, and I... you can and because it's again Squirtle Jigglypuff, you can just loop that, and the energy feedback will be insane. I will say, um, yep, because of that comparison, like I really do prefer the other one for this combo because squirtle is an ingredient spec so squirtle can pump out eight cacao and seven milk a lot easier yeah. than your jigglypuffs so that's why you're saying you need to run three but wiggly tough line in particular because of the nature of energy for all you really don't want to run that many of them because once you yeah. get a fantastic one which is the goal energy for all is so good as a support mon long term be capped out that if you level right? six it and you have a really good trigger set like you're going to be at or above you don't even 100 need a energy one. and yeah. so second one really isn't going to help so i would lean for this combo obviously if you're getting the insane honey oil wiggly tufts like that could work but i think chocolate cake is generally more versatile for this group. well here's the fun part the fun part is you can do both True. Because uh, Big Malasada is really strong, but it has a lot of overlap with chocolate cake. The only thing that's not lapped over is oil versus cacao. So if you do the same cacao strategy as we talked about before, and you have some Jigglypuffs with pure oil available, you can still eventually build up the oil to do Big Malasada or Sweet Scent Chocolate Cake. You have this a bit of fallback to each other if you want to structurally do that. And because mm -hmm. they both also have a fallback way below that, if you're running a suboptimal team, you still can get really good backups all the way down at the bottom anyways. They're very complementary to each other, and although it does require you to run pure oil Wigglytuffs instead of honey honey Wigglytuffs, it's the kind of thing where if your really good Wigglytuff is an oil mon, you can do both strategies together For simultaneously. Sure. Yeah. Um, do you want to talk about ginger cookies? If you have some good tough cookies <sighs> lying around? I mean, Sure. Yeah, because the, the big crutch like, on ginger cookies is that it needs 12 ginger. It needs 14 honey, 12 ginger, 5 cacao, and 4 eggs. But ginger egg is a lot of overlap on Tokikus. Like, if you actually are the person that has, like, 2 or 3 berry finder Tokikus, this isn't that, like, insane to hit. Like Yeah, that is true. And also, is. you saying Togekiss, fairy type, metronome, we kind of need to talk about clefairy because it's been <laughs> sitting right in front of us this whole time apple honey apple honey which is so so good it's good for the jiggly whole, post fruit the yeah. whole apple thing the whole so oh, yeah. reset your card the whole ducks you don't need any of that just drop yep. it in for this and for salad 
for those apples, it is so, so good. It, yep. If you get an apple, apple one, that's fantastic, especially mm -hmm. for salads. And then apple honey for lovely kiss. Like, it is so strong. So I, especially on dessert, Clefairy, if you can get your hands on a good one, is so, so good on cyan. Especially yeah, just paired with Squirtle. It can do lovely, lovely kiss, just those two, which is crazy because oh, yeah. it's such a big recipe. Yeah, it's like, it... It basically says, what's the big weakness of cyan right now when it comes to consistent... Too many options. Uh, to, to consistent <laughs> dessert options. Well, no, it's not, it's not that it's too many options. It's that, like, you have a bunch of options, but all the options have some kind of major drawback to them. And yep. it says, well, how about you just get a bomb that just fixes all those fucking drawbacks? Suck my dick. And it, it just works. It, like, Clefairy is absolutely nuts. It is yep. by far one of the strongest options you have available to uh, fulfill the kind of top end strategy we were talking about before. Yep. Apples are just nuts. I, I was going to mention it if you guys didn't for Clefairy, but yeah, that thing is pretty nasty. Like apple, apple or apple honey, like both are super, super solid. You don't care. Yeah. It's just good. If you can get a good one, I'm waiting to see if it's event only or not. We'll see. This, that's it is. My video, um, well, it, no, it's not event <laughs> only, but they said in the news that it's far more common during the event. So I'm assuming it's just going to be a really hard mod to find outside of it. We'll see. But I mean, the fact that it will I, get every it, month probably that boosted uh, drop it, rate is ambiguous, pretty nice. To be fair, no, they've said that directly in the news. The, the news said that it has a boosted, but it doesn't actually mean that it is going to actually be viable. Because what, what, what it might be by it's boosted is it could be that all mons have certain calculations baked within them about based on their own, like how good they are kind of internal calculations mm -hmm. that decides how common they are. And when you put in Clefairies, it could just be, okay, well, we're going to bring Clefairy out only during the moon nights. And then we're also going to turn it up like way higher than it should for its own balance. Well, no, I think they've confirmed that we are going to be able to get it outside it, of the it moon event. It hasn't actually been confirmed yet quite. I'm... All the things have been assumptions given the kind of wording um, they're using. I... But it hasn't been outright said Clefairy is now accessible outside of moon nights. We'll, we'll see. This is just something we have to, uh, yeah. have to wait. Like, it could be that they are alluding to being able to see it off island it could just be a flavor thing where it's like oh yeah they don't normally show themselves but you see them more often during blonde it's just a flavor whatever like yeah that, that's the thing is that it's, it's very hard to tell what it absolutely means when we're currently looking at like yeah. what it likely means yeah we'll fair. see in like two or three days yeah yeah well we'll see won't we see tomorrow maybe today's the tonight's the last is time the zones exist of... so yes yeah time zones exist no, but, but regardless of time zones no, no no that's what i mean like this night, like the thirtieth right now, is the last night of uh, the event, of, yeah. of the, thing, of the event, which means that tomorrow, like, tomorrow, tomorrow night, yeah. Anybody who takes a nap tomorrow, some, some people will yeah, know, true. yeah. Or well, 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 rather not that we will know. It's because we can't confirm a negative, but we can likely propose it. Given, hey, here are these Japanese players who've put in five hundred nights and not yeah. a single one of them <laughs> saw Clefairy. Means okay, we probably can't access it. But the yeah. moment we get a single Clefairy outside that, we've now confirmed it exists. Yeah. yeah. Regardless of so. whether it's just unavailable or rare, that is kind of the drawback of Clefairy. Is it's hard to farm. It's hard to get consistently. It's hard to get above friendship level ten, especially. Yeah. And but once you do, if you can manage to get a good one, it is so strong, especially because it's a berry spec. So it's not like Psyduck or something or Wigglytuff if you're running three. Like you want yeah. to be running it. It is a strong. Cool. It's not as strong in raw berry value as for Alligator, but it's pretty close. And with how good its ingredient list is, that's like a super good mod to be running if you get one. Uh, and don't be afraid of Metronome. Like people yeah. shirk away Metronome from is RNG. Good. Metronome is good. Metronome's good. Like that's actually this like one of the saving graces for Togekiss, even though it's not like the best thing ever. Like Metronome's actually like not bad. Um, mm -hmm. I would like to take a quick little tangent regarding the uh, the the moon event before we go to the next uh, sure. before we go to the next area. Um, I absolutely hate the the, the fact they added Clefairy in this way. <laughs> the reason yeah. why not not because I don't like it conceptually, but the only reason why I hate it is specifically because. It incentivizes you to do a thing that is against what they're also incentivizing you to do. Like they, you know how they give you the the bundle that says, "Hey, here are three double exp things that you can yeah. use." It stacks multiplicatively, wink, wink. But the problem is, if you want to get fucking Clefairy, you have to do a double rest. Mm. Double rest is the optimal way to farm for Clefairy. That well, maximum number you, of you're options. You're saying Clefairy specifically, right? Well, like yeah, if you want to get a viable one, yeah. 
Because if, if, because if you want to get a viable one, you want to have the most amount of yep, rolls possible, which requires you to double rest, which requires you to use two fucking uh, two, two fucking incenses in yeah. order to be able to maximize that, which is really frustrating. Just pay more money. you're losing out on the value. Uh, well, that's what I did. I, I'm, I'm doing <laughs> six incenses. I am doing six incenses in order to be able to do this. But like, that's so it's like, good. I, I liked how the, how the moon was like, you're getting rewarded. You get to have a mon that's like significantly better for the, uh, because you're getting like a huge EXP boost. You're getting like two weeks of EXP all in three days. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it's like, awesome. Yeah, and I don't have to put too much investment into it. But it's like, haha, guess what? Your investment's now <laughs> doubled. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, and I, I mean, for that double, like, I would much prefer to do that today or two days ago rather than yesterday because yesterday, that's, like, the huge EXP boost. And you're not missing out on as much if you're only focusing and sensing yeah, on so your you, main you big Yeah, so you might only want to add one more yeah. if you want to do it independently. But if, if you're also doing it optimally... The, I've also found the correct way to do it is to um, have one really good sleep, but then cut it off just short of eight and a half hours. Oh, like yeah, eight 99 hours and score. 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Get a 99 score. And then do an hour and a half sleep, only get a one score. Cool. Or the other way around where you yep, do like an hour and a half exactly, but then keep moving the phone around as much as you can um, and then let it rest for like the last 10 minutes or something stupid like that. Although like, I do this think... This is so stupid Clefa, to artificially force yourself. It's just cheating. Like, how low is Cleffa's so like threshold that you need to be like what, drowsy power wise? There, there, there's no minimum. There's no minimum on it. You, no, you can get it on one. Huh. I... You can get it on one d during... yeah. I, I, I got it. I got uh, Clefer this week on a very, very low roll. Okay. That's good then. Yeah, that's a good way to Like on, on a three month roll. All right. Indeed. I think we uh, tangented plenty yep, enough. Yep. Tangent is done. Let's move on to the next one, which is. Finally, Top. Holy shit. Top is giving me a headache. Wait, so, I want to. Real quick, real quick. Yeah. Can we do a yep. mini overview section of good teams that cover all three weeks for Cyan? Because I think that is a really important like bit of information to give. I mean, I can, that's all part of what we're talking about, I guess. In the yeah, I, can, I, I want to run it really quick. So Run turtles. Run yeah, turtles you run turtles. You run crocodiles. Uh, no, croc crocodiles actually aren't really that. Like, we, we only had one to a totodile. But that's not all, true. No, cur cur curry and, and salad. Contrary meat. All of the, yeah. yeah, curry and salad. It was on oh, almost yes, all right, of the right, ones sure. we yeah. talked about. Yeah. Because it's in Dazzling Apple, too, because of oil, if you need to. So, yeah, Curry those salad, two are great. Wigglytuff is great. Clefairy is fantastic, too. So, honestly, most combinations of those four mods, you're going to be able to pull something off. It just depends on the Inglis yeah. that you get, whether or not you're rolling cacao or milk or oil or sausage on your level 30s on your Totodile Island Squirtle. Yep. But based off of those, you're almost always going to be able to pull something off going off of those four yeah. mods. And if you're spicy, and you also... splash a duck. And and then there's also the alternative where you could also do a uh, where you could do rats, uh, rats do duo with, uh, with, with if desserts. you're on a uh, dessert week. If you're crazy, yeah, yep. you that's go for good. It. Just on if dessert. you're insane, that, that's a, that's another option. So yeah, those are the three main things. Uh, Squirtle with Wigglytuff is good. Totodile with Wiggly with Wigglytuff is good. Uh, Psyduck can be used as splash. Slowpoke can be used as a splash. Uh, very once in a but while, Clefairy you have a is better than Wild, both. That can do thing. And Clefairy is insane. Yep. So yeah, right. that's the quick little Perfect. overview. Perfect. Cool. Let's move on to, oh god. Okay, so when when I was thinking about like what was going to give me the biggest headache when I was doing when I was going to do this, I looked at this at at the top options. I thought this is horrible. I am I hate having to do this analysis. This is awful. This is going to be by far the worst. Oh, one. I'm glad I was I'm here wrong. That. I love yep. top. I was wrong because Snowpoint is so much worse for the opposite reason. <laughs> saying, wow, this one sucks because you have no options for two of the weeks and the third week is just full of options. That's awful. No, it's worse because for Snowpoint, all three options are as big as salad, but with the same kind of you have to mix and match awkward diversity bullshit. Mm. So, yeah, top. Let's start with the obvious. Uh, Hustle Protein Smoothie. Oh, sorry, that is desserts. your all right. only dessert option. Yes. Period. Yep. That is your only dessert option. I hope you like Marowax. Yep. <laughs> Soybeans and cacao. Yep. This yep. is kind of the textbook of the situation I was talking about at the beginning where you could say, okay, I could run a Marowak and I could get that cacao from an on island one. Or Running like you three Marowaks. Have a good Absol <laughs> or a good War Turtle Blastoise. or but here's Blastoise. The thing. If, Drop if you're, it if in you're, and you're going to hit it more good consistently. good XYZ anyways though, if you're just do if you're already splashing, you may as well splash for a different fucking recipe, right? Like, yeah, that is fair. Like, 
Like, you may as well just do basically anything else. If you're splashing a mon that's able to get two ingredients consistently, you may as well just run, like... I don't even know what good. Fo- you have like no. There are no. It's good still bad. Food. Even you may with as well one. run like bad um, with one splash. Yeah. You you could ru- yeah, but like you could run. Are there any mods that are like mushroom apples? Um, um, Absol is at level sixty, but not at thirty. Yeah, because yeah, if there's um, mushroom apples mods, then you could run like you know, if you're or, tea or something. Splashing oil, you could do soy donuts with like soybeans and cow oil. But yeah, like that's the, like you you can like it's scuffed. splash and abate. Like there's a bunch of splashes you can do to run things that just aren't hustle protein smoothie. Yeah, that's but, true. But like here's the thing though, if we're talking about recipes that you're going to be stacking up, hustle protein smoothie is a recurring trend. We talked about it before how you could do the do duo specific week for hustle protein smoothie, and you can run an off week mod, and you could in theory run a hustle protein smoothie on in in this week, and it will be available I think in the next in the next group as well, very yep. easily. So, like, you just, you have that as, like, a... If you want, like, one solid recipe per, uh, like, per, like, meal type week. of... Type, yeah. Type of, type of meal. Yep. Um, Hustle Protein Smoothie is going to be a fine thing to invest in. That is um, true. It doesn't require any external anything from for any weeks. And, yeah. For our, for top, Hustle Protein Smoothie, it's basically just golems plus Marowax. That's yep. your team. Yeah. I mean, you could run, uh, you could run like Sudowoodo or Larvitar, um, if you want, if you want those. But like, Larvitar is actually not too bad. Yeah, Larvitar is an ingredient yeah, mod that has really been to the top. Drop, it's not that bad. Well, the thing is, if if you're thinking about Geodude, how many times do you need a Geodude to proc in order to be able to uh, in order to be able to get it? Well, not that many. Probably fewer times. Not not that many. But yeah. funny enough, Larvitar doesn't actually require that many more. In fact, it probably requires the same mm. amount on average because Geodude, although Larvitar is a, is slower than Geodude. Um, initially, but I think it gets faster when you start evolving. Yeah, it does. Um, Geodude can do so- soybean soybeans, but they're both they're both ingredients mods, and you need fifteen soybeans. Okay, I so want to jump in here. If we're talking like average, odd, yep. There is a bigger gap than you think because the I mean, what I know, we were talking yes, about with like, ingredient rates at the beginning, and you're saying a little bit like sometimes skill mods have lower ones. Actually, the biggest thing that it factors is how good your value of your ingredient drops is. So. You'll see a mon like Gengar, it has, I believe, the lowest, if not, or one of the lowest ingredient rate percentages in the game because it's so high value. But Golem is actually oh, the opposite. Shit. So Golem, because it's beans and beans are pretty low value, it actually has a massive ingredient rate. So it has, I believe, one of the highest in the game. And so That's it's very actually funny. not very hard to hit that 45 beans a day with one to bean bean golem. That is Wait, not really? as hard as you think it is. Yes. Wild. Because it I has mean, I, such... I, I, you probably need even two. Even though because, it, like, if you're no, thinking about those, I've those, done the math. You can do it with one so? pretty wow, comfortably okay. because it, yes, it's a little slow, but it that ingredient rate is so huge. It helps you a ton. It obviously has to be a pretty good one, but it's very doable, which is Fair nice. Enough. I like golem a Neat. lot. So yeah, uh, that's Hustle Protein Smoothie. You can splash whatever the hell you like and do anything else during your dessert weeks. So, but honestly, if you're a dessert week on top, you're kind of just fucked. So wait, are you saying like that you theoretically could do like a Hustle Protein Smoothie with like one Golem, three Marowaks that have cacao, and then splashing an oil mon? And you could do like, like Hustle you don't Protein need and... So- I, but you I can would, like flip-flop I would even soy lean donuts towards, and... You could do one Golem smoothie. and four Marowaks, and you probably hit that cacao reasonably consistently so oh, yeah. that is like actually a very viable way to hit it especially because i mean you only, yeah, you only has that, that one... self-charge energy so it does keep its frequency pretty high that it actually turns out a reasonable amount of ingredients yeah the reason i was asking about the soy donuts is because it only needs six soybeans instead of 15 yeah, but, so it could but ease up like on soy that. donuts bad yeah, yeah. but yeah. Bean, you, beans you are way then. easier to get than oil or cacao Two okay. dude pumps you, out beans. And Cubone is a, or Marowak is a berries mon. Yep. So you can have a pretty berry invested Cubone, and they'll just passively get enough cacao anyways. Since yeah. Cubone's just, the Cubone's just but good. But you need like, ginger cacao. No, you don't need ginger, but you can do cacao. You, you, you only need Wait, does it oh, start yeah, at yeah. cacao? I thought sorry. it started at ginger. No, 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 no. it starts at I, ginger. I, I, it does start ginger, so you need ginger yeah. cacao. Yes, it is ginger. You, you need to have a ginger cacao cubo, yes. I thought okay. you meant that you need ginger and cacao for the recipe. No, 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 no. I was talking about the ingredient list. But who cares? Like, yeah, you have cacao as your second and second thing. Yeah. If you're running four cubones, you're gonna get there consistently. By the way, like, ginger ginger cubones are pretty trash. 
Mm. Oh yeah, they're they're they're. We'll they're have horrible. a whole talk about ginger when we get to the other weeks. Yeah, so <laughs> it becomes we'll be, way we'll, more relevant when we, when we get when we get to the other even even on even on um top they actually aren't terrible and we'll get to that in a moment. But let's actually start. Well, actually, let's go to uh, curries because we can I, see right now. I, I just want to follow through that point. There's so many ginger options with like palava, charizard, yeah, a bunch I'll, of other stuff. Ginger, ginger, cubone specifically is not really worth it. You really want that is get true. Cow Cubones. Well, no, that's, yeah. Think that's about kind of this. Think out. about this. You have okay. I want a berry mon. I want it to have ginger, ginger. Oh, cubone. Guess what else exists? Typhlosion. Typhlosion. Guess what's yep. way faster? Typhlosion. Yeah. Guess what puts out so much more berry value? It's yeah. Typhlosion. There is yeah. no world in it which you actually, want a ginger, ginger, marrow over no, no, a no, ginger, ginger actually, type. Does it actually? What do you I, mean? I think I thought that uh, the. Uh, give me a second. I'm gonna pull up their their. Uh... No, the value. It's not even close. It's not. Marowak close. is I... Marowak is one of the worst, and Tyfe is the second best below right Is it because of its speed? Yeah, it's yeah. so fast. It's, it's like the speed gap is insane. Typhlosion's tied for fastest. 20. Isn't it? Oh like, wow! No, it's a tier it's below. A, is it the no, second it's tier? It's, it's as fast as Zard. Twenty. So it's like so the Typhlosion is like uh, two thirds of the speed. It's way of the, faster. Of the, of the, of, yeah. But now I also want to look up the actual value of the berries. Yeah, I've done the math. I've got I've got it posted in Publishings. It still bodies it. You can look at that uh, the Just little mini up. tier list I made of berry mons in there, and I believe on that. Yeah, Marowak actually scores the oh, yeah. worst out of anyone, and Typh is second highest. So that is, yeah. it's Marowak one of the biggest like... gaps we have between berry specs on the same island in raw yeah. berry value. Because, like, for Alligator and Clefairy, way closer than that. Even for Alligator and Dodu Dodrio, way closer than that. It's the biggest gap. So really, if you want gingers, you should just be running Typhlosion. Yeah, so yeah. The, the, anyways, TLDR, what I was saying, that's true. don't uh, run lots of options. super, super ginger Marowak. You need the cacao for them to be viable, basically. I yeah. agree. So, next. Yes. Uh, curries. We actually have a pretty decent curry option. Yes. Absolutely. Exactly one decent curry option. That's... Um, mm. Which is spicy leek curry. Yes. I love this recipe. Uh, I say it's only one because uh, solar power tomato curry, although it's good, is a fallback. Uh, yes. It's not like it's it's a it's a mid tier. It's not a really good recipe. Yeah, you shouldn't be Spicing gutting curry. for it specifically unless you're really sad. So, you need ginger herbs leeks. Yes. So, immediately, uh, Cyndaquil all the way. Uh, for sure. Ginger herb is amazing. Uh, leek is only obtainable from Diglett. Yep. Uh, but here's the cool thing about about Diglett is that Diglett. It has if you want leeks, you have to do tomato leek, uh, yep. tomato leek diglet. Yep. Which is like fuck, that kind of sucks. But what if if you are doing tomatoes, and you're doing cyndaquil with ginger herb, mm -hmm. you are gonna have enough fiery I'm herb glad you talked and Susie tomatoes yeah. to fall yep. back onto solar power tomato curry. That is which the you have strategy. Those, it is a beautiful hand in hand of diglet plus cyndaquil, and it just works so fucking well. Yep. That is the strategy, and and like the thing is, besides those, the only other ingredient uh, option, that, or the only other uh, curry option you even have in the plane is bean burger curry, which is running. You could do like a, you could technically do a rats of Charmander if you really want to, <laughs> if you're stupid. That sounds um, funny. Or if you really feel like it, you could do like a Growlithe instead of a it's rats, a but with very finer Growlithe. If you, uh, no, I, not rats. I was saying if you if you don't have uh, you know um, ginger herb cyndaquils and you need more herbs, you could run a growlith or two. Yep. And they have herb sausage. Yeah. And in the event of you not having enough to be able to do either recipe, you do have enough sausage to be able to fall back on a bean burger. Curry. Man. So like, although it's not good, like, it's a decent enough fallback that you yeah. do have a little bit of flexibility. And I don't have the strongest optimal options. Oh, by the way, anybody who's watching this, I'm, I'm referencing images that are down in the description down below. So you can feel free to just look at the description and follow along with any of the... I should have mentioned that earlier, but yeah, yeah you can just go look at all the pictures we're talking about. It's going to have spreadsheets. It's going to have all the pictures we're talking about. All of that is down in the description down below. Should be uh, should be helpful as a visual if you feel like it. But yeah. But yeah, um, that aside... We're missing oil. We're missing mushrooms. We're missing apples. Yeah. We're missing so much. We just have nothing for potatoes. We have potatoes, but, right? Yes, but we like are. we're missing the, the other we have, pieces. Mm, of the, of yeah. the curry we have, it just complements each other really nicely. It's it such just a good ends strategy. up scooping each other together. And it's just a very consistent, good strategy with two very good mons that just yeah. end up lining up strategies very consistently with each other. That's an example of like a, of a pairing that just 
It's beautiful. Mwah. Chef's kiss. If those I love two top. recipes are exactly what you want in a in a situation yeah. where you only have two recipes. If and you have it a, was so nice to see that line. If you have a flurry on there is hearty cheeseburger curry, but just do the spicy leek. Yeah. Like just just do spicy leek. Yeah, okay. just do spicy leek. I want to take you guys because that's most of the curry, I want to do a mini tangent into salads. So let's take if you take that exact same team, right? So let's yep. say you're making one spicy leek curry and you're making yep. one solar power tomato curry. That's 14 leeks, 10 ginger, 13 yep. herbs, and 10 tomatoes. Yep. Now yep. look down at salad. Overheat ginger salad and immunity, immunity leek. leek. Yep. Those two together, that is remarkably similar of a combination. It's a little less leeks and a little more ginger, but it is so close. And to That's have that good thing. balance between two weeks is absurd like almost nothing else has that on such high value recipes because yep. both spicy leek and overheat are great value for their tier like spicy leek you can see it's higher power than egg bomb even though egg bomb is three more ingredients it's higher power by a good amount like leeks and herbs are such good value that yeah. this combo together like that is the team to run on top for curry and salad so basically get yourself a good doug trio math wise you should get yourself two good dog trios that are both tomato leek and you can actually hit yep. this way more consistently than you'd think yep so yeah that's uh it, that's honestly all i was going to be basically saying about this week uh because like that's the strategy yeah like, uh, overheat ginger salad it works so hilariously well with curry that wasn't even a tangent that was going to be what i was going to open with mm-hmm. uh that's incredible yeah it like overheat ginger salad falls really nice into immunity leek salad and th- these are just like the exact same ingredients in roughly similar quantities as you would need them for the curry week so it's they're, it's really um, good it's fantastic i guess the only other the- thing i will mention if you're magically missing the doug trios um, you could bring on the Marowax from Dessert Week with a Charmander for the Contrary Chocolate Beet Salad. It's not ideal. That is true. You want to you want to do the true. other setup for sure, but it is an option available. It's very to messy. You. It's very messy. Yeah. Fourteen cacao is kind of hard to hit, even if you're running like four Marowax IMO. Um. So um. But yeah. Next, we've got uh the Contrary Chocolate Meat Salad, which requires bean sausage and cacao. Yeah. Hey anybody, and anybody here want to tell me as to why this is bad? Because 14 it's cacao. fourteen, <laughs> which is yeah, it absurd. requires fourteen cacao, which is only obtainable through Absol. No, oh, well, Marowak. But <laughs> Last if you're, if you're run, if, like I said, if you're running Absol, you may as well just fucking run any other you know ingredient on to just boost you it up anyways, out. right? Yeah. Like in this case, your only real option if you want to stick to the berry options per week is running a Cubone, which is like. It's your ginger sad, doesn't yeah. really help you it, it doesn't like give you any fallback options and if you fail the contrary uh, contrary salad you just don't have any really solid fallbacks besides you know bean ham, bean ham. delicious which to be fair if you don't ha- if you don't have enough chocolate it's probably be- like if, if you're failing the recipes because you don't have enough chocolate in which case then you fall back to bean ham which is fine because you have a lot of bean you can yeah. easily build up with uh, with charmander yeah mm-hmm. so like it's it's okay but it's only like okay Curries and salads, echidnas and molds. Yes, yep. but I do want to give a quick shout out to uh, Golem again because you have your Heat Wave tofu salad and your Water Veil right next to each other. Yep. Both ten beans, both six tomatoes and six herbs, which are super easy to get on top. Lots of different ways. I mean, obviously yep. your Dog Trio, they're going to put them out, but so many different herb sources. So Golem again on salads is actually really really strong. Yep. Yeah, uh, you you can do quite a lot there, and what's really funny is uh, herbs and tomatoes. You can get like like you mentioned, you can get them like basically anywhere. Um, there's like Growlithe that can do herbs, herbs especially. Do, yeah, uh, you can yeah. do Diglett again with you know t- if you do tomato leak with that, that's fine because then you can eventually build back up again to a, to uh to the uh, to immediate leak salad or uh, something like that if you do leaks, mm-hmm. which is just cool. Again, you you have like, uh, there's a lot of flexibility in here and how mm-hmm. you can build each of the teams. And the tofu salad provides you an option of hey, if you have your if you have your dessert. You know, dude, you can absolutely flex flex there, and then you have the other basic fallouts of Stuzy tomato and bean ham. And if you manage to even manage to fail any of your other recipes, you have, uh, if you fail overheat uh, ginger salad, you can fall back onto immunity leek salad. But if you failed ginger salad for what for like a reason that means you can't fall back onto leek, maybe you don't have enough leeks either. Then you also still have another fallback into going into uh Snoozy into Snoozy the tomato. Snoozy tomato yep. salad, which is just such a good flexible salad week. It's just so good, dude. 
like I love the top recipes. Doug Trio is But the awesome. problem with them is that they're is that they're like very broad in some categories and very narrow in others. Yeah. Like if you want to have a good a good team, you are running. You're running Doug Trio. Yeah. You basically Doug, need yeah, one team for curry salads and you need one team for desserts. Pretty basically. much. I think the worst is a good summary. Yeah. I do want to give a special little shout out. Yes, generally splashing is like okay, you can make whatever, but on top, it is really worth considering if you have a cracked out herb mushroom Gengar, that alone, just the mushroom source, you can now make ninja curry and ninja salad, which are both giant because you could do that with a golem. We've already said one golem can make 45 beans a day pretty comfortably. And then you have leeks from your Doug Trio. And if you get one Charizard, that Charizard can give you sausage for the ninja curry. And then if it's sausage ginger, it can give you that ginger for the ninja salad. So you can just save your sausages on salad week and save your ginger on curry week. And you can make both of those just with the addition of mushrooms. So that's obviously like, yes, you're splashing. You're getting less berry value, but you're now making ninja salad, which is the highest value recipe in the game. And then ninja curry, which is also a very, very good curry. So don't sleep on Gengar on top. It fits in very well with the rest of the ingredients here. Yeah, he doubled yep. down on the herb with everything else, and then the mushroom addition is just icing, and it pulls everything together. Yeah. Ninja meals can be doable only with Gengar, but they are so strong that that can be worth it, for sure. Yep. So, uh, let's start moving into... Well, do we have any more tangents we want to do before we move into uh, into Snowpoint? Because, nope. holy shit, Snowpoint is going to give me an aneurysm. The wrap up moles and echidnas, and then rocks and sad lizards. Yes, beautiful. All right, so, I think we're good on snow drop. <laughs> I think we're ready for snow drop. I would like to approach this way, this one in a different angle, uh, as was all the other ones where we're kind of like going through the different recipes. I like to talk about this one about ingredients first, because um, I there are a lot of recipes available here. You have access to literally every single ingredient except for slowpoke tails and fancy eggs. Every other ingredient is available on Snowdrop. So, that said, I would like to start talking about mushrooms as our first uh, ingredient to talk about. The reason why is they're only accessible from the worst mon in the game. Sableye. <laughs> the Yay. only way to get tasty you're, you're, mushrooms You're splashing is, Gengar. I'm, I hate to tell you. It is, it is a tier Gengar two... Over. Well, that's the thing, is that because... But here, here's the idea. We're already talking about we don't want to splash. In yeah. this idea, we're already getting some knock splashing. So, if you are so desperate to do ninja salad or ninja curry or spore mushroom salad or Neroli's restorative tea or spore mushroom curry <laughs> or soft potato chowder, then you're running a, an oil mushroom sable eye, in only which case puts out two you mushrooms. might as well die. <laughs> or you it's can just so run bad. a Gengar. So, because yeah. that I think, I think that we is largely stupid, ignore mushrooms. Because yeah. it's so stupid, I'm going to just say, for the sake of my sanity, we are going to ignore mushrooms entirely. Fair enough. Okay. Next. Leeks. The reason why I'm going to tackle leeks is because there's only two recipes that use them, and the only way to get leeks is through a ditto. Oil leek ditto. Mm. Yep. The only recipes that include them are spicy leek curry and immunity leek salad. We can talk about them very, very briefly because they actually kind of pivot well into each other. Because spicy leek curry requires ginger, herb, leek, and immediately salad only requires ginger, leek. So it's just basically losing the fiery herb. Yep. Ginger and herbs, uh, you can get ginger fairly easily through like Kangaskhan, but or the only eventually. way you, but the only accessible mm. way to get herbs is through Houndour. Houndoom. However, yes. Houndoom also has ginger, That's so you could go. do herb. You could do Houndour ditto. And you can get all your spicy leeks, and then if you fail, you have a fallback for immunity leek salad. What do you mean, That's ditto? All I see are houndoom. So I was going to make a joke about how it's actually a rat's yeah, strategy. It's rats. Because they're all, they're all houndooms. What are you talking about? Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, a bunch of houndooms and ditto. Gets you pretty comfortably on there, I'm pretty sure. So yeah. It's very, very The dogs cozy. and the blob. Yep. So yeah, that's the only thing you can do with leaks. There is nothing else you can do with leaks. Gengar. So given that, but yeah, that's a I am, splash. Uh, yes. I am also gonna get rid of leaks, and we can now talk about everything else from here. All right. Okay. Sure. So now we're gonna talk about soft potatoes, because potatoes. the only way to get access to soft potato 
is through Kangaskhan mm. as a tier two. Interesting. And there's only two recipes that require to be, uh, potatoes. Potatoes are Dream Eater Butter Curry, which is milk, uh, tomato, and cacao, plus herb potato. And there's Fluffy Sweet Potatoes, which is milk potato, which means you do have uh, milk, tomato, cacao with a fallback, which is actually a pretty decent fallback of milk potato. So in order for you to get the snoozy tomatoes, uh, the only way to get snoozy tomatoes are through slack off, but it's a tier one slack off option. The only way to get cacao is through uh, Absol and tier two Eevee, but Moo Moo Milk is, accept- is, ac- is accessible through tier one Eevee, which means you could do something along the lines of snoozy tomatoes, like uh, tomato, tomato slack off with a, uh, like two of those with like a, or rather I, you'd probably just do one, honestly, because like who gives a shit, right? You'd probably just do like one um, tomato, tomato slack off with like two uh, oil, uh, sorry, two milk cacao Eevees, and then like two ginger potato Kanga scans. Well, by you Eevees, so you mean potatoes. Berry Finder. You mean Berry Finder Umbreon, obviously. Right? Obviously. Well, yeah, I say, I say Eevee, but I mean, yeah, Umbreon. <laughs> I say Eevee because, like, yeah, same idea. But yeah, Berry Finder Umbre- Umbreon, because it's like, same idea. The I, I'm using like the lower of the evolution in the line order to be able to talk about these bonds. Yep. But yeah, so Eevee, and the, the Eevee line, like Umbreon in this case, is giving you that what you need. And if you fail to get enough snoozy tomatoes or cacao, you can fall back down to the fluffy sweet potatoes. But you need a lot of potatoes in order to be able to do these recipes. And I don't think it's consistent enough to even consider either of these in our analysis. Yeah, no, I was going to say not you a need good strategy, 18 potatoes. Solid. I was yeah. going to say you need 18 potatoes for that um, potato curry. And, um, and neither of them actually have good fallbacks for curry options because none of these line up with anything else you have here. So as such, I'm going to also veto out potatoes from our analysis. Yeah, I think the reason potato struggle is so much is a lot of the good potato recipes need egg, and that's, yep. correct me if I'm wrong, but that's one of the very few that Snowdrop is missing, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that egg, hurts. Egg, egg potato entirely, wants yeah. egg with it, so that makes your potato can go a lot worse. Specifically we don't have a single Snowdrop. place that is potato and egg yet, I don't think. Like, but that will be good. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. But not yeah. at thirty. Yeah, we're missing potato yeah. egg thirties. So uh, we've gotten rid of most of the problematic things here, um, but the issue <laughs> I, is we still have a we still have a couple things that are very interesting to me here. Um, the one that I now want to bring up is ginger, because the only way to get ginger is either either through tier one Kangaskhan or tier two Houndour. There's only two recipes that use ginger now at this point, now we've included everything else. T-Tar, and that's the uh, overheat we, ginger. We're not talking about T-Tar because he's like level 40 something, right? We, yeah, we don't talk about, T-Tar doesn't exist. T-Tar okay. doesn't, yeah. If we, we're ignoring we, T-Tar, fair game. Um, I mean, if, if, if we include T-Tar, um, we do have access to ginger as a, as a tier one option, but that's yeah. not really why I'm bringing it up. The main reason is because the ingredients you pair with it for overheat ginger salad is tomato herbs, which... That's the not only that way bad. to get tomatoes dogs is through slack off, but you can do dogs, yeah. yeah. So overheat ginger salad, the issue is there's no fallback. You have to, if you want to do any kind of fallback, you have to run rats. Or you can do Susie's tomato as your as your backup here. Yeah, no. It, you have no other backup here, which is very dangerous and precarious to run. So, yeah, um, I you, like overheat, like, but there, the issue with it is that, like, since you need 17 fiery herb. And you're doing it on a berry mon, which is houndoom, which you probably need like you know four houndooms to really hit that, and then you need the ginger from an ingredient mon. Well, if you do, you're yeah, like if you do herb herb houndoom, you can get there like once a day fairly easily. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Like maybe not four houndooms. Overheat is but... kind of a just a okay. I'm not going to be cooking three times a day, but that's not the worst thing um, in the world because you can run it with all berry specs. So you're still getting a ton of berry value, and even if you hit overheat, it's such a good recipe. Like you hitting might overeat be. once or twice a day is still pretty strong for a team that's all berry mods. Yeah, you kind of need to do like two Houndoom, two Vigoroths, and you know your Ginger Mon and Kangaskhan or whatever. But well, Houndoom <laughs> gets ginger, so you could run oh yeah, two it does herb, get ginger, herb. doesn't it? You could run herb, okay, herb, okay. herb, 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 herb ginger, or maybe you could even run. Two I, herb herb, two herb ginger, and then a slack hot that's tomato tomato. That probably hits it. Yep. 
a good amount, Reasonably not a ton. Yeah. But that would be not a pretty time, strong yeah. team. I forgot that he got so, yeah. there. We're cool. So <laughs> I, off that, the reason I want to bring that in because I think that we can start talking about salads off this. Wait, does he Because get... overheat ginger salad is probably the worst salad option you have. There's actually quite a lot of other decent salads that line up for this week, but overheat ginger salad doesn't line up with any of them. If you're looking in the columns for all the salad options, you hit basically nothing with ginger. Yeah. By basically, I mean, there is literally no, no fallback for ginger. That's what I was if saying. You, if, like, if, it, you, yeah. if you have enough ginger but not the other things, you can't make anything else with ginger. Um, Snoozy tomato does have a couple options, but requires other, rest- other ingredients in order to be good. Um, um, with the exception of Snoozy tomato salad. But fiery herb just doesn't have anything like you again need you need like soybeans as well in order to be able to do anything well we'll get to soybeans in a moment i touched on this in the last episode but there is the potential to do the alternating mumu caprese and dazzling apple cheese chat i touched on that last episode i don't know if you want to cover that oh yeah you know, we, 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 can, we can get there but that's not i'm not talking about ginger right now yeah go for I, it. I will i will get there go for um, it. but like specifically ginger with the, with the context of salads just doesn't do anything yeah like you that's need to run overheat mean. ginger salad and it has no fallback yeah um with the exception of uh, specifically the heat wave salad, which you can do a fiery herb fallback on, but what's really funny about uh, about using heat wave as a fallback is that there's only one way to get soybeans, and the only way to get soybeans is a tier two ratata. <laughs> yep. Which means Rats. we're not gonna do a hustle protein week because that's shit. We're not gonna be able to do heat wave tofu salad because you're running a fucking ratata. You're not gonna be able to run water veil tofu. Uh, consistently with just soybeans coming from a tier two of a radita. So all the soybean options are going to be significantly hindered because none of the soybean options use apples in the first place. So you're using radita as basically every time it procs, in, uh, procs uh, recipes, uh, procs ingredients, it's on average getting one soybean. And that's all it's able to do. Um, and it's a significant drawback on average because it's two per two so something i'll note after playing with some level 30s it really feels like when you switch ingredients to your level thir- like when you unlock your level 30 ingredients if they're a different kind it really feels like your mons primarily getting that and just some of what it used mm, to get it, that's it's kind of well it, it's not true not it's, it's not it's not it's not like one to one i'm not saying that like you know they suddenly are not apples anymore if, like they go no to it is for, like, a it, shoot. it's Generally, but I think I'm it's quite that... balanced between the two, like almost 50 50. I really? believe it's 50 50. Yeah, yeah, but the reason why no, no, no. the data shows that is because I'm, I'm if, not. So if I imagine I Hold clear on. out, if I clear out a mon that has like, uh, let's say, like sausage and ginger, I'm going to have twice as much ginger as sausage. Yeah, gonna, that's like, what I'm talking about. I have about. so much more. Oh, but yeah. You have twice yeah, much yeah that's what I'm talking because, about. I'm not saying. Because the ingredient is higher. That's the thing. Like, it, yeah, it's, I'm not saying. It's, it's just because ginger is double the volume of sausage. Yeah, that, that's what I'm trying to proc. say. That's what I'm trying to say. It's not that, you know, you're gotcha. not getting, that makes sense. That makes sense. You're not hitting the drops of the other. That's not what I'm saying. It's it's, fit, it's like 50-50 to get one or the other. But because you're getting yeah. twice as much of the other one, and it's also eating up half of that pool, you know, when you when I, when I my Raichu went from 29 to 30, you know, it went from getting, let's say, 12 apples a day to getting six, six. apples and... Um, a bajillion you know, something else a bajillion ginger like it, it cuts yeah. into that first ingredient somewhat so this is something to be cognizant about when you're hitting level 30 bonds it's even though you're not going to be like suddenly missing your first ingredient you are going to be getting a little bit less of it than you were and if you're switching ingredients Unless your it, bonds basically yeah. like specking into that other ingredient at that point and just getting you a shit ton of whatever your level 30 is like, but contrary wise, if your yeah. mod has the level one ingredient twice, it just gets fifty percent more. Yeah, that too. It, yeah, if if I had an apple apple right you, I'd be going from you know twelve apples to eighteen apples a day instead of six apples a day. Like apple apple right you would get eighteen apples in this example, whereas apple ginger would get six apples in this example. Like there is a big yeah. gap. Ingredients. Yeah, matter that's a why huge gap. Level thirty. Like so, I I just uh, want let, to let's go out. back to. Let's, let's, let's go back to what we we're talking about, the overheat ginger salad and like ginger and soybeans and all that. Like overheat ginger salad is bad. It's it's the highest you can get, but it, you would have to do a very specific niche strategy to invest in it. And it doesn't have a very solid fallback. It has a very weak fallback that you fall all the way down the, to the bottom to. Um, so 10 ginger, 8 tomatoes and herbs. You're running basically what we just described before of uh, of running like houndours and slack off. Yeah, yeah. doable, but it's kind of the... Instantly. It's kind of the biggest example we see of a, okay, fuck it, we ball, and if I don't get there, we're just not cookie, which can work. <laughs> you better be ready to spam painful, ingredient tickets. <laughs> but, like, if your overheat ginger salad is high enough value, like, 
it can work for sure because i mean yeah. obviously i'm biased my overheat ginger salad is like level 38 right now but i'm dropping like mm, i want to say it's around between 13 and 14k every meal so like even if you're making that once or twice a day that's still quite a lot of value from your recipes yeah. it's a big dish so i don't think you should completely rule it out but you are right fallbacks is terrible you're basically just not going to cook until the next spam time spam tickets or be sad yeah uh what's next krill you're the one conducting the train so here. after overheat we talk about contrary chocolate meat salad which mm, requires like uh nine sausage and 14 cacao um you say you like it i don't interesting uh because there are only two ways to get sausage. One of which is Meowth. Mm -hmm. Trash. The other way is oh, Sfeel. Berry Great. Finder E. Oh, wait, no. That's level 60 for yeah, it's 60. sausage. Sad. Rest in peace, Berry Finder Umbreon. Not today. All yeah. right. We will we will one day come back and talk about and talk about uh, 60s. level 60s. But for now, it's literally impossible to reach that. So, yeah. Yeah. Because the game caps you at okay, 50 right so now. Okay, so Sfeel and Capsule. Meowth. Meowth. Um, I th I think it's very confident for me to say Meowth sucks, yep, and it's agreed. not going to be the kind of thing you want and are able to generate sausage regularly. I don't think you're um, saying anything crazy. Yeah. Uh, you'd probably just be doing Sfeels. Sfeel is which great. Sfeel is a fine mon. Yeah. And notably, it does have, it is a three, it is a three beaner, so it does have three as opposed to Meowth's two, so you actually are getting quite a lot of sausage out of it. Mm -hmm. It's You only need three procs of bean sausage in order to be able to get enough to get a contrary meat chocolate meat salad. That's really solid. Mm -hmm. um, cacao, just, Absol I mean... You kind of need Absol. You, you're, you're doing double Absol. You're doing, sure. you're doing a cacao, cacao, Absol, which yeah. is going to get you a it's, stupid amount of cacao. You're going to get, every time that you get like two so procs, you're getting strong. seven. So it's like three and a half on average. So you're getting there in like four yeah. procs very consistently. This banks on Absol, um, though. Like it really banks on having really good solid absol or absols. Yeah, yeah I agree like, with that. that that's not an that easy mod to get. Running? That's not something we. Yeah. Sorry. sorry, that's not something we're normally taking into consideration here. But like, absol is probably one of the hardest mods to get in the game right now. That is true. Yeah. Especially a good. But one. if you if you can get an absol though, you are in business. Yeah, yeah, it's a great recipe if you have a good one. Really solid. So. uh... Contrary meat salad, it's just really, really not much to talk about here uh, because there are only two, like, there's only really two ingredients, one of which you're doubling up on. The other one for bean sausage, if you're doing uh, sfeel, you're also going to be getting pure oil. But there really aren't any, like, fallback recipes for you to be able to use on uh, on salad week for that um, unless you're running a milk mon as well. That's true. But that's what's interesting because you can run Umbreon. If you run Umbreon instead of your... Absol, I'll say you run two Umbreon, so you could have... Or you could do uh, Absol plus cacao, Umbreon. Cacao, cacao, so you have cacao, but, pardon? Or you can do Absol plus Umbreon. Yeah, that's yeah, true. But I'm saying, like, yeah, but I'm saying, because instead of you running two Absol, I'm saying you're instead of replacing an Absol with an Umbreon, okay, or yeah. replacing your two Absol with your Umbreon, depending on what you have available. Um, what's funny is that uh, it's actually surprisingly powerful, because it provides you access to milk, and you can use milk plus a little bit that you'll pick up along the way with, uh, with ingredient magnet-related stuff to uh to be able to fill in occasionally a mubu caprese salad or occasionally a dazzling apple cheese salad or a snow cloak um Even. or a snow cloak every once in a while like yeah. you have a little bit of extra flexibility in there it doesn't give you a lot but it gives you a little bit of wiggle room where because you people don't have a lot of absoles be huh. able to fall back onto an ev which by the way i'm actually going to say in this case not umbreon if you're falling back onto an ev Mm. It's actually not a terrible option, specifically because Ing Evie magnet. has yeah. ingredient magnet, and That's that fair. provides you a little bit of extra flexibility in being able to get these other ones, re regardless of what ends up coming up. Um, especially if you're running, uh, especially if you also have like slack off on the team as well, or somewhere nearby, or spheels, because spheels also ingredient magnet. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to be get consistent enough drops here and there that you'll be able to run some different fallback recipes depending on what comes up if you're proccing the abilities re relatively co uh, commonly. It's not optimal, but it provides enough of a breadth that you're like eighty percent of the way there with enough flexibility to get you a lot of the. Uh, emergency yeah. backups to keep you your average high, speaking, even if your top end is a little bit lower. Speaking of, if you have a milk, uh, a milk cacao, a milk chocolate umbreon, if you have a milk cacao umbreon, um, what are your thoughts on like alternating contrary chocolate meat with uh, contrary chocolate meat with dazzling apple? Where yeah, you know you're I like, actually... I have an apple, I have an umbreon, 
and then, you know, I'm going to throw on a spiel, maybe two, and then I throw on something that gets me a bunch of apples, like an apple apple no, 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 eradicate, but and you alternate. Remember, Absol's other option at 30 he also gets is, apples, ab yeah. is apples. So, yeah. honestly, I like that a lot as a backup. It's also if you, it's also eight apples, by the way. Yeah, eight it's a fucking apples. Yeah, it's eight apples. That is eight That's two times procs. more than what Radita has at level one. Two apple procs get you the dazzling apple cheese. Like, it, it's not crazy to have some kind of, like, Umbreon, Absol feel set up feel, to feel, alternate feel. yeah or yeah. whatever like some combination of those three where you're alternating contrary chocolate meat and dazzling yeah apple. that's like, really strong honestly it seems like a very you, solid option yeah if you get your absol and an absol is good but it's cacao apple like that's kind of your strategy and it will work really well yeah um yeah for sure I don't know. Okay. I just wanted so, yeah. to get thoughts on that. Like, I agree. Yeah. I like that combo a lot, especially if you roll Apple on 30 on your Absol. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's just really solid. Actually, yeah, if you roll Apple on your 30, you would probably be defaulting to Apple Cheese. In the, or you'd probably, yeah, you'd probably be doing Apple Cheese and then sometimes Contrary Chocolate. Yeah, or if you of... have one Apple, Absol, and uh, one yeah. Cacao one, like Absol, well, Absol, uh, EV yeah. slash Umbreon, and two Spheels, like that could churn out both of those yeah, really it, consistently it, actually it's kind it of flexible for your you it's kind of flexible for whatever absolute you find because if you get a yeah, chocolate exactly. chocolate absolute you're focusing on contrary chocolate meat and then you're mm -hmm. like occasionally doing the dazzling apple off of you know a rat plus ingredient finder procs or if you get a chocolate apple absolute you do dazzling apple cheese and then you yeah like absolute works back really well on salads here so it kind of lets you flex on the ingredient list too for whatever good one you find so there is a really funny so when i was looking through this i was kind of frustrated because um the what was i saying the like when i was looking through snow point um there were so much variety in the mons that like were able to get different kinds of ingredients mm -hmm. but what's really funny is that when i was looking at it the, the fact that they're so broad means you actually have a lot of diverse fallback strategies you can run as like you can run four bonds that are solid, and then you can run one mon that's not really good on this week, but completely fills up your back end with a bunch of other optional, you know, yeah. strategies. So like, you won't always get contrary meat, but then you could run like you could run like uh, some uh, some suboptimal mons. Like instead of running uh, the 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 cacao cacao, uh, absolutely you can give it cacao apple uh, absolute, and it'll follow you back to a dazzling apple every once in a yeah. while. And you'll you'll get such a lot of flexibility in here that it's just so interesting to me to to study and look at. Yeah, and, like, I, I don't want to tangent on this one as long as I do with the other one, but, like, there's also the Mume, Capressi, and Dazzling Apple combo where you're running, like, Sloths, Umbreon, um, yeah. Rats, and you're, Rats. like, and a Walrein, <laughs> and then you're flipping, like, Capressi versus yeah. Dazzling Apple. Like, that's also an option. Like, what you're saying, Creel, there's just so many ways to, like, mix and match on Snowdrop. Like, there's Contrary Meat Apple, Mumu Apple, mm -hmm. uh, there's the overheat option although that's kind of all in like there's so many different things you can do on this island yeah, yeah it's super interesting and i'd say like a lot of it same thing i said with the absol like just when you get a cracked mon you can almost build it around their ingredient list so if i get an insane spiel spiel is also up there because ice that berries are very high value that it's a great uh berry mon it, it's the highest like value considering its speed and berry value by quite a bit on uh, snowdrop it's, it's yeah, on Snowdrop. Right? Yeah. It's, not, it's not the. Oh, yeah, not overall. But on Snowdrop specifically, because both uh, Slackoth and Rat are quite low. Um, obviously, Walrein evolves later, and that's kind of your trade off. But if I get a really good one and it's oil, oil, like that bounce you were just talking about, Anders, like the fact that it's milk and then you just need tomato and apple, like, okay, I could just run that really good Walrein with a Slackoth and a Rat and an Umbreon, and that works super well. So I think you can almost look at. When you get a good wall rain, similar thing as Absol, like, oh, if it gets sausage, then you can aim for the chocolate contrary meat salad. Or you're just, if it's double oil, you can look at those two yeah. more. And something with uh, wall rain, just to talk about it, it's like, it's technically really good, but just oil's really limited. I kind of feel like it's mostly relegated to salad. You guys might prove me wrong when we get to dessert, but I feel like salad's really wall rain's home on Snowdrop. Like, it helps pull together quite a few different dishes or, like, fallbacks or, you know, you need your sausage. Like, there's a lot of things it does yeah. in Salad Week. Like, that I kind of feel like it is a... I won't say it's, like, forced to be only Salad, but I feel like mm. that's where it's particularly at home when you go to Snowdrop. Yes, that's true. But also on curry, we haven't touched on it yet, but it does get that drought katsu curry all by itself. 
uh, just like it's the same as Totodile, yeah. but it's just flipped. So you can do that same thing. So it's actually pretty good on curries as well. It's actually probably better than Totodile at Drought Katsu because it's oil sausage instead of sausage oil. Yeah. And you need five oil, ten sausage, so it lines yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. Basically. It actually does do that better. You're right. Yeah. Anyways, Krill, uh, you <laughs> go bring us to the next thing. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, honestly, you run through most of what we have here for, like, for, uh, for salads. Because, like, a lot of this is just kind of backup of, of bigger, higher up ones. So salads yeah. are kind of done already. Salads are um, flexible so, as heck. Yeah, so considering those salads, I'll just quickly get rid of them off my uh, list here so we don't see them anymore. Hide. Next, uh, let's talk about curries. Because right. we're actually surprisingly crushed on curries, but not in an interesting way. In a kind of this is shitty and not really enjoyable way. Firstly, solar power curry. Everybody's favorite, right? Um, so... The thing that's interesting about solar power curry is you have to run slack off in order to get the, the tomato, tomato, and you kind of have to run uh, how endure in order to get the fiery herb. Yep. But also, those are the only ingredients you need. They're, it's also the highest curry you can still afford, given all the other things we've talked about. Yeah. Um, we talked about the spicy leak already. Yeah, solar power. The problem is there's no fallback. And I mean no fallback, as in there are no fallback tomato or herb recipes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, that's true. There but are no th other curries below those two that require either of those small ingredients. small enough that I think you do hit it yeah. pretty consistently, though. It's at, only at, a 15 at 10, ingredient 5, recipe. you're not missing it often. I don't think it's too bad that there's no fallback, because obviously there can't be that much that's below a 15 ingredient recipe. Yeah. Yeah. And it's all berry specs, so that's a bonus, too, that you're getting all that power outside of your recipes. Yep. Um, yep. And also, I will say, slack offs, I don't know how many you're going to be running for this, but since you need more tomato than herb, probably three, um, they have the ingredient magnet. There are times where you might be able to run fallbacks off of those ingredient magnet procs, like occasionally also, getting an apple curry or a milk one or a honey one. Or this is one. fairly new data, so I don't know if you guys have heard about it or not, but slacking, there is a reason to evolve into it. Not and great. that reason is yep, its main skill percent chance absolutely skyrockets like it yeah, does I heard about procs that. way more and it actually gets a higher ingredient percent so if you're focusing on recipes like slacking is actually kind of a hybrid between berry skill but obviously it's skill is ingredient magnet so that makes it lean even more into ingredients like it has a significantly higher ingredient rate and way higher main skill chance so it can actually put in a lot of work on your team for some of these dishes so don't sleep on slacking is like it's almost like a pseudo ingredient spec once you evolve it it's pretty cool um i will say if you're tentative about evolving it like don't worry about it too much because you, you can't go back once you evolve um that is true but also like I, i'm kind of curious on what you were talking about wave i would love to be able to promote slacking i hate the idea of just keeping there is a reason personally I hate the idea of keeping it a vigor off, so I would love to, like, look at that later. Yeah, if you like recipes like. and you want to level that up more than get just berry value to the moon, it actually is a worthwhile evolution, which is I, very I'm interesting I'm kind of, now. like, I, I need the ingredients on Snowdrop personally, like, so I'm, I'm interested. Yeah, so I'll it's look a great option. Later. All right. Uh, what's after solar power? Uh, drought. Drought katsu. Everybody's favorite. Bunch um, of pure oil bean sausage. Wait, seals. Guess what this? <laughs> wall rain. Wall we rain. Get wall to rain. Run rats. What? Rat strat wave. Rats. Oh. Yes, the rat <laughs> I forgot strat. about that. You remember what we were Why talking about? Why are you comparing rats something as beautiful as wall rain to something as ugly as a rat? S so that's the thing is that because <laughs> of how shit curry is generally, the what I'm talking about. I'm not a huge fan of seal generally. I don't think it's actually that good of a mon. Yeah. Um, but it uh, in curry, I am it has a very here. specific niche here. You're not outnumbered here. Yeah, I am. You two like rat, and I think wall rain's better. Not, We've had this conversation. I'm kind of in between. I, I, I think Anders likes feel better than rats. You're in the uh, middle. Like, like rats, really? I'm in the middle. Rats, I'm rats in the middle. is a better. Rats is way better. I preach than rats because it's early. funny, but I don't like my. I mean, boy. yeah, early, obviously. Yeah. Rats is a very, very good early game strategy. For I want to. I want to hear it. I want to hear you guys talk through it because we're here. We're on Snowdrop. Like I it's early game. We're talking about rats. level thirty now. Okay. <laughs> I guess. Talking about talking about early game, both Ratata and Sphiel are berry investment bonds that are you can run whatever. But 
early game, the ra uh, Ratata Raticate is going to have a significantly faster. Yeah, that makes sense. It's going to have a significantly faster uh, frequency than Sfeel. Yep. Sfeel, even though it's you know, it has the right balance of how you want oil and sausage, you're going to be able to get oil and sausage reliably if you do both. Um, you need 30. The... Yeah, you you need thirty. You need you need to get even to the second evolution of uh, of Spiel in order for it even be kind of close mm -hmm. to uh, to eradicate. And you really want Wall Rain in order for it to actually start to outpace. Yeah. And even still, if you're running a rat strategy, you might not get enough bean sausage just through random fucking luck. Um, but you're always gonna have enough apples if you're doing apples apples ratata. It's gonna yeah. be a lower recipe. Yeah. But because that you're just sense. kind of really hard investing directly into a ratata strategy here, you're gonna consistently get uh get this kind of low end recipe really high end berry push yeah. mm, and, and, yeah, and with that okay. early game rats as well like you don't have to run five rats you can run four rats and or three rats and there's a lot of times where you do that to hit better dishes because apple's a component in a lot of stuff like on salads there's the dazzling apple cheese where you just bring on something that does milk something that does oil spiel mm. or whatever but like you you don't have to just run straight rats you can run straight rats it's very good it's very consistent but like on desserts, you bring on ginger from Kangaskhan, or you know, mm. like I said, you bring on the milk and oil for Salad Week, and on curry you cry. But like it's rats is just so consistent for Snowdrop for that early game pre thirty. That also kind of definitely serves as an interesting like stand in if you haven't gotten an Absol yet, because I feel like whatever it is, th it probably works out to like four or five rats apple output is the same <laughs> as one Absol. Oh, I'm but sure, like, but that's also level 30. It's not a bad stand-in if you're kind of waiting and you want to level those. Like, if you really like Absol and you think you're going to want to run those, like, rats can level them up really early, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Like, rat, rat snowdrop is real, but, you know, level 30, you don't have to run straight rats anymore. anymore. Right, that makes sense. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Uh, but they're still good on salad for, like I said, that dazzling apple cheese and mix the other stuff. Until Absol. Anyways, yeah, um, Curry, we went over Solar Power, we went over Drought Katsu, which is just a bunch of Wool Rain, and it's pretty good. Like, it's a good strat. It's I agree, just, I like that You need a lot of Wool Rain for that, and you need them to yeah. be kind of good. Uh, what's right. after Drought Katsu? We on so, now? Uh, this, this is kind of funny, actually, because after Drought Katsu, we are down really deep into the dregs of hearty cheeseburger curry, um, which I will, I will say is, is a fine recipe. Like you, you can you can if you really want to just run a bunch of meows, you can. You, you can do a <laughs> rat meow and you'll it. get meow. You, you can hit that on meow. Umbri on Wool Rain. Although you'd just rather run Drought Katsu, but like you can hit that on Yeah, but then you can, you can also, you don't you can also have do Umbreon the Wall or Eevee Wall yet, Rain. You can throw in an Umbreon or an Eevee and it will work. Or a purge. I don't I don't wanna <laughs> think about meow. I don't wanna that entering my brain makes me feel just sad that we're talking about that as a strategy. But yeah, so uh, I mean, it, you know what you could do. It's milk and sausage. Do the fuck whatever. It works. Mm -hmm. um, you technically do also have mild honey curry. So if you really, really want to toss in like, uh, like a slack honey. off in here for honey, is like, it Vigoroth? Yeah, 30? if you're just, rolling honey just, on all your just Vigoroth off. thirty. Yeah, just yeah. Vigoroth thirty. Okay. But yeah, really, like if you're if you're down this low already, you know what you're able to run. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm down bad. Work with a good seller recipe. Curry, curry, curry's kind of shit, honestly. Uh, you're kind, you're already down in the C tiers just kind of naturally because of the horrible other terrible bonds you have to run to get any other mm -hmm. ingredients. So I think we just move on to desserts. Uh, well, well, I would. This is a splash thing, but I do want to mention the like the Gengar splash with Ninja Curry. Yeah, same thing. Well, because it's no, very legit. Or was it no? no. You'd rather I mean, not be no, but yes, you're splashing that, but you also you pretty much need to have a T Tar. Like yeah, 15 I guess beans, you do need a T Tar. Golem is a monster and puts that up, but T Tar one only gets beans at uh level 30. 30. It can't do double, and it has a lower ingrate, so it is actually not as good as hitting those beans. So I'm not okay. a huge fan of it. I like it a lot better on top than I do here. Okay, maybe this will be a level 60 thing we talk about then. At 60, for sure. All right. That opens up a lot. I'm down. Let's go to desserts. Cool. Desserts have one A tier option, and it is honestly the funniest fucking thing. Um, I I am going to tell you. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna name the recipes that I have in my mind, and I would like you to tell me what you think my strategy is for it. Okay. Okay. 
So there are three recipes that are important to, the, or I guess four recipes that are important to the strategy. Uh, there is lovely kiss smoothie, sweet scent chocolate cake, and big malasada. Where are you getting the oil? So you need to do uh, what? So lovely kiss smoothie are you about is to, fancy are you about apple, to rip a bunch of Eevee's milk, on us. honey. Maybe. Well, it's actually, yeah. <laughs> well, it's absolute Eevee. So I just it, don't get so, the big malasada. Okay. You get so a green here, here's the thing. Lovely Kiss Smoothie mm-hmm. has apple, milk, honey, cacao. Yes. Uh, Sweets and Chocolate Cake is milk, honey, cacao. Yes. And Big Malasada is milk, honey, oil. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> so as we talked about before, uh, the... My a strategy that I've been looking into is running a bunch of EVs, which is Mumu Milk Cacao that covers two of the of, mm-hmm. of your of the ingredients. Mm-hmm. To get honey, you need to do slack off, which kind of sucks. Yeah, but you can do a tier two slack off. You only need like seven to nine. But here's the thing: if you're running a bunch of EVs, all of which are fairly invested into uh, into in, uh it just into its skill proc and ingredient. Are we leveling you up can. raw Eevee's Yes, we main are. Skill? We are. We are leveling up <laughs> raw Eevee's main skill, um, so that we are able to get ingredient procs, and it's still a relevant mod. That's insane. Or, I will mention this. You're insane. I said it last time, last month, or whatever. I think you still prefer a blast toys to a raw Eevee, but. Well, yeah. But no, you, you don't. You you don't. In, you don't prefer a Blastoise to Raw Eevee here because Blastoise does not have the does not have the berry procs, and you still do want to have the double up on berries. Mm, Is it like that much being better able... though compared to no, like the frequency? No, I think your stuff? overall I... power would absolutely be higher because Blastoise you only need to run one and you hit it. And then the rest of your team can be more slack offs because that honey is actually pretty hard to hit. So you're gonna want like two or three slack offs, and like. If you have running three slack us, okay, now I need my Absol for cacao, and now I have one slot. Blastoise can do that in one slot. Eevee cannot even get close to those numbers in one slot. Yeah, but that's lame. But it works better. <laughs> it, it, you don't it, get to okay, run for anybody Eevees. that doesn't want to evolve their Eevees, Krill is speaking to you right now. Yeah, that is true. But yeah, so um, so the big thing is that the the bunch a bunch of the big recipes here. So there's like th- the three recipes I named all have one major drawback, and that is the honey. True. It's gonna be hard to hit that honey reliably, and the main thing you need to do for that is either bring an outside mon, which if you're bringing an outside mon, you may as well just bring in a better honey mon like Wiggly Tough, right? Or a triple um, honey Venu. Or a, yeah, or 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 honey honey Venu, yeah, something like that. Um, there, there's a couple options as to what you could run. You could even run a fucking Butterfree if you wanted. I whatever. like yeah. out of those. Definitely will you tough though, because E for E, actually the math on E for E works out so well that if you're running, let's say, just for the sake of simplicity, let's say the rest of my team is like four rats, okay? And it we're just looking at their berry value. With that wiggly tough, if you bring it in, once you get, I believe it's for most sub skill sets, it's around skill level five your production on the berry value of those four rats is actually goes higher than five rats normally. So Wigglytuff, because E3 is so insane, it's actually such a good splash that it can be better than having a favorite berry mod in that slot, which is kind yeah, anyways, of absurd. Um, honey kind of defeats a five top strategy. You're going to have to do a splash somewhere or be able to get there kind of reliably. That's why I kind of like the meme about Eevee because you don't have to splash that way, but it's like, yeah, you may as well splash in that case because you can do basically anything else if you splash. Mm-hmm. Um, so if we skip by all of the things that, that require uh, that require honey, we have another interesting set here, which is uh, soy donuts and protein smoothie. Because once again, we have the same thing where we have soybean cacao, and then we have the optional oil for huge power. The problem is, again, we have to get oil somewhere, which means you're probably going to be doing it through ditto. And that's a lot of beans. That's a lot of beans. Beans are hard on soy. the only way to get soybeans is through a tier two of Radita, which is it, fucking brutal. awful. When yeah. I hear that, it seems like we want to go for huge power and default to protein instead of the other way around. Yeah, so you'll probably be doing huge power as the main investment. Oh, for sure. You can get cacao trivially. You can get pure oil if you have a uh, oil, oil, ditto, or sableye, or sphiel. Yeah, true. Um, 
I mean, you'll probably be doing it with Ditto just because the Ditto's an ingredient mod and the other two aren't. But you could do it either way if you really want to just do it. You have yeah. the flexibility, not Both a huge part. deal. Um, and then you then soybeans, you're running uh, apple, soybean, radita. Pain. Like, it, it's, pr- it's pretty At least bad. you can default so, to your apple juice that you probably leveled from rats. <laughs> but here's the thing. Now, if we're going to go wild here, um, if you're doing... Uh, if you're if you're like going relatively broad here, you can do oil oil spiel, which has ingredient, which has the ingredient magnet, it's which means baller. you might occasionally get a soybean every once in a while. So like, it. like it, it's it's again one of those things where it's like you'll occasionally get there just by virtue of. Uh, you suck in. Hello, we can hear you. Yep, sorry about that. I was just typing to my roommate because he's talking about food. You're good. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, yeah, the, beans, the, the pure oil... Yeah, be- beans is like impossible to get. The oil you can get reliably, cacao you can get reliably, but beans are just so difficult to get unless you really invest into ingredient magnet, which you can, and it's okay to do that, and you'll occasionally get there anyways. The problem is that none of these ingredients have any fallbacks, so you're kind of fucked. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Which means then your other strategies are going into anything else, which is just basically you investing into apples. Like I said, yeah, rats have apples, so you can default to apple juice. It's not great, but, like, it's there. Also, if you're getting your cacao from an Umbreon or an Eevee, you have that warm Moomo milk fallback as well. Yeah. Yeah, which, I mean, you yeah, that that is back there. But, yeah, so lastly, we've got uh, a bunch of apple investment stuff. We've got uh, stalwart vegetable juice, which is apple tomato. We've got ember ginger tea, which is apple ginger. We got lucky John apple pie, which is apple yeah, milk. These are all super. And then we have easy. fancy apple juice as well as craft soda pop, which sucks because it's just honey only. Who gives a shit? Yeah, and warm milk. The, the, the apple so X like, dishes are all apple, apple, very apple, easy. Apple. They record you just get a double apple radita. Though you need to have or a couple apple. double rat, rat, uh, apple radita because the thing is, yeah, you unless you're doing apple juice reliably, you have or what? Sorry. Oh, uh, or, or you can or apps like swapping your rats into apples eventually. Yeah, because I mean, if you if you have if you have an uh, if you have a um, chocolate a cacao apple, apple yeah, yeah cho- a chocolate apple absol that will be outpacing your ratata, your radicate. It will be outpacing like four of them. <laughs> that's not true. No, no, that's not true. Actually, it drops eight um, apples. It, I I know it drops eight apples, but it only drops eight apples half the time, which is means it's getting four. Oh uh, yeah, it outpaces four, it, four it, it, it of will, them. It do, it doesn't outpace three, but it gets very close to tying three. Um, no, wait, what? How does that math work? Ra- because radata is a one apple. Oh, right. apple. I forgot it's I forgot it's apple apple. You're right, you're right. Yeah, we're comparing apple apple to chocolate. Absol is I think a bit faster though, right? Oh no, my Absol is only compared to three rats instead of four. Yeah, moral of <laughs> yeah. the story Absol's here is good. get yourself Once again, an Absol. Absol is a good mon, everybody. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> um so yeah, that you know, that exists. Um, you could also do like radata with like apple soybeans, and then some then some radica there because then every once in a while you can like oh well you can do lucky chant apple uh, apple pie with your uh, if you're falling back into huge power so donuts like if if you if you just run apple soybeans radata as the soybeans money you'll get a couple more apples occasionally mm. and then you do absol with apples then you'll get enough like cacao and apples and soybeans to get you like kind of consistently in the range of getting these every once in a while True. especially if you toss in uh if you toss in a um oh uh an ev to yeah, yeah, yeah. Moo milk as well to get that all lining up or you toss in a sphere to get your pure oil you just have a lot of variety in how you can build the last little bit here yeah. but it's so, dredge, something i so noticed gives a shit, if right? you're shooting for that lovely kiss sorry i yawned if you're shooting yeah. for that lovely kiss and you have an absolute do like the apple cacao and then you know maybe like an umbreon or a blast for milk and then you mm-hmm. have your um slack offline for honey you can actually alternate uh stalwart vegetable juices like your back oh yeah that's that. really good because you have to run that slack off and slack off is tomato honey so you I can like go like you know i'm gonna shoot for lovely kiss if i don't hit lovely because i'm gonna do stalwart vegetable juice and you know you mm. run two uh slackings i guess like slacking actually seems kind of goaded for dessert ironically true don't sleep on slacking line don't sleep on it's slacking. good <laughs> yeah. good english um, and also, like, even on top of that, you can even default to the Lucky Chant apple pie as well, because you're getting the milk. Like, the, like yeah, Lovely Kiss sure. smoothie is just such a good, in- like, between Cyan and Snowdrop, that's just such a good meal. It falls down really well, yeah. Yeah. 
it, it's yeah it definitely slips down really well and then and it also has the sweet scent chocolate cake directly below it like if for some reason i'm hitting everything else but because it's a lemon apples like i'm not hitting just my <laughs> my Boom. apple did not Go hit apples for whatever reason yeah my apple has only been hitting cacao oh no you oh, can no. just make sweet scent i guess chocolate i'll make cake, cake and it's still really good of a smoothie yeah that's so strong as a fallback yeah and yeah like that has like four or five different fallbacks like mm -hmm. oh my goodness yeah lovely kiss for sure I think that's really just what you want to be shooting for is that lovely kiss. And if you can't, yeah, then then we have all these other ones lined up for the, you know, I don't have an Apsil. Like, mm -hmm. you can be going for those huge higher soy, do soy donuts or your various apple meals. Like, all that stuff is more of just the, I don't have an Apsil. Let's work with what I got. Let's do apple plus tomato or mm -hmm. soybean cacao or whatever. Yeah, I agree with that. So, yeah. That is all of uh, all of Snowdrop. Now we've covered all of that. Oh, rats. Means... If, if you're playing rats and you don't want to switch off of rats, just play <laughs> one Milkmon, and you just play four yep. rats plus a milk, and you do your Lucky Chain apple pie. Lucky okay, chain. Yep. My, my bit's done. <laughs> your yep. rat propaganda. And then occasionally you can do a warm milk, and you happen to get enough apples. Yeah. I needed to get the yep. rat propaganda in. Rats, rats, rats. But yeah, so that, now that that's all done, um, do we want to talk about, about the green grass for a moment? Because... Sure. Um, I have no data on green grass, and I have no easy way to get easy data on green grass. So I would need to I need to spend it's... a moment uh, rearranging my, green... my spreadsheet if we're gonna be doing that. Because of the way green grass works with getting random berries, it's very much something I even think is like not talked about too much is getting those mons that are air quote good on any island like Amphros and just making consistent meals out of those yeah. mons, like combining them together for green grass. And if you happen to hit those mon like those berries. You're very happy, or okay. if, you know, you pull an ore in, you could bring on your blastoise on top of them and get like nice meals that way and stuff like that. Can I cook for a strategy? Quite What's literally. Strategy? Okay, so this is kind of like just trying to consistently line up between all three meal meeks, right? Because mm -hmm. it's like okay, berries or whatever. Like we're using, we're bringing out the big guns. How beautifully can we get this to fall together? And the big strategy that I like here quite a lot is looking at um, Gengar in combination with Absol, which is kind yeah, of weird. But that combo. gives you access to it. Neroli's restorative tea on dessert, which is really good. And you only need ginger, and ginger pairs remarkably well with herbs, which you're going to be getting from your Gengar anyways. And so herb ginger brings up overheat, brings up spicy leek curry. And you have those options as well. And then from your Absol, you're going to be getting extra cacao, which you can do with uh, contrary chocolate meat salad. So let's say I'm running those two so like... plus a sausage ginger zard. Now I have my ginger for the neural restorative tea. And then <coughs> I'm over on like salads. You could drop in, I don't know, your Diglett or your Vigoroth or whatever. There's good tomato options based on your berries. And you can hit overheat. You can hit contrary chocolate meat salad as a backup. And then even on curries, curries, it, it's not as strong there because Absol doesn't do anything. But with that Gengar, you still have that flexibility. You could shoot for ninja curry or anything like that. But especially salad and dessert on green grass, if you're more flexible, Gengar, a mushroom or a herb mushroom Gengar, Plus, like, mm. cacao, apple, absol is really, really strong and opens up a ton of options for you. So you're saying for, like, um, green grass, like, getting a decent absol plus Gengar yeah. really just opens you up to being very flexible? Exactly. Or if I'm saying, okay, I'm not even going to think about my other ingredients. I just want to run, like, absol, zard, and or you don't even have to throw in zard because ginger comes from so many different It comes sources. from a million a things. I think you which, can match ginger to favored week. Yeah. And so if you're just saying, okay, I'm going to run these two so I'm consistent on recipes, and the other three I'll always be flexing, you'll be able to hit recipes quite well with just that combo. That's very fair. I like that. So that's um, definitely a good strategy for green grass. Yeah, I don't hate that. The other thing is, um, where is it? Let me go find the overheat. 17 herb. Man, I was going to say something about um. It's a lot of herb. Ampharoses, but I'm going to hold myself i don't quite yeah, know where it, i would go with it as someone who's currently <laughs> making overheats with an ampharos i would not be able to do it without my typhlosion and without saving up a little bit from my gengar last week it doesn't mm -hmm. happen okay especially i'm like 
I'm kind of sitting here like crossing my fingers, hoping that somehow magically like lemon progresses really slow because once I hit 30, lemon is eggs at 30. And then so my herb production is going to go down the gutter and like, oh I don't want eggs right now. So I'm kind of just sitting here like, wow, level 30 is not going to be very fun. I, I think it's time it to happens. dump lemon for another. No, That's, never. Uh, herb, herb. <laughs> All yeah. Right. Oh, guys, I'm not getting herb anymore. Guess my three main skill seeds were down the drain. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, that's uh, that's a pretty good wrap of the episode. I think. Is there anything else that you guys want to immediately talk about? No, I don't think so. Not off the top of my head. We covered everything. Uh, oh, I guess. How would you like to tackle going forward when we get into new islands? Do you want to just do like island specific podcasts? Like you know, like well, yeah, just so drop. Let's we, talk ooh, about I the like mons, that. the recipes. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. The yeah, yeah. stuff you'll find there, like. You want to just exactly. have it be like... that's, that's, that's what I would do. If, if a new island comes along, we will do an episode that's going to talk about the mons that you can find there. We'll do, uh, and part of that episode will also be about like the recipes that you can do what using the mons that, that are good on that island. What you should bring, like all that kind of flexibility. So, we will have like an island that dedicated podcast one... that just encompasses most of what the island's about. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. All, so far, all the episodes have been like embracing all the islands right now, and we all only the have mons three right now four. because they're all coming in. Yeah. But like, if if we get like a like a wave of like. 20 new mons we'll probably do an episode that talks about all those mons you yeah. get a wave of a like of a, of a new island we'll probably do an episode that's all the island if we get both at the same time we might do one and the other we'll see um, depends on how much content but yeah okay it depends on how much content it is yeah so we've got like we'll we'll go forward thinking about that um um but yeah look for clefairies I think that's everything clefairy is really good make sure i mean at this point, everybody's going to probably already be asleep. We're going to be publishing this hopefully tonight, but it's going to be a little bit late for that. But uh, Look yeah, for next him. month or Catch later him. in the future. Look for yeah. fairies. They're just good. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching this episode of The Napcast. Uh, I hope you guys all have a great uh, great night's sleep. Uh, make sure you sleep well and uh, don't let the bed bugs bite. Especially not uh, especially not Caterpie. That guy sucks. True. Oh, yeah. uh, once again, we have, uh, we've got our uh, two friends alongside us. Uh, Anders, you want to tell people where the people can find you? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just Red Panders Bear on uh, Twitch, and I've actually been slowly picking up streaming again, so Yo. Red Panders Bear on, Yo. yeah, like I said, Twitch. Uh, d same username on Discord and everything, so uh, yeah, that's exciting. I might, I'm going to look into doing something about maybe getting, like, Pokemon Sleep running on the side while I'm playing games and, you know, leaving awesome. it open. I'll look into it, so we'll see. Uh, but yeah, Red Panders Bear, pretty much every place. Perfect. Uh, Wave, where can people find you? Uh, yeah, I'm Wave, just spelled with the 3 W A 3 V. Uh, I'm that on Discord. I'm that with an underscore after it on Twitter. I technically, I have Wave on Twitch. I could start streaming. Who knows? So, yeah, Wave <laughs> pretty much everywhere, just spelled funky. And uh, then there's me, which you can find me on Discord as Math Geek. You can find me on Twitch as uh, as Math Geek 007. You can find me on YouTube as Math Geek or uh, Krill, Q-R-I-L. You can find me on Twitter if you'd like, Math Geek 007. Uh, otherwise, uh, you're here on the YouTube channel already, so feel free to check out any of my other content. Uh, I will be, you know, uh, you, could, you could also uh, feel free to give me money at my Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash mathcord, which is uh, for the Unite Mathcord, but I'll ho hopefully we'll be including some Napcast stuff in there at some point in the future as well. We will see. Uh, oh, is the website on, here? You know, uh, kind of. Uh, you can check out uh, sleep-db.com. We are currently published like it's active you can go visit it but we're still kicking out a lot of the bugs right now so it's like air quotes live but it's more like a beta kind of test right now feel free to go check it out if you'd like uh we're gonna be trying to improve it to make it the best possible site possible uh eventually we want to reach the point where people are no longer looking at cerebi uh typing in pokemon sleep cerebi diglet or maybe information they can just go to sleep db and click on diglet and be done as quickly that's eventually the goal so yeah uh Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you all tomorrow night. Bye. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Bye. Good night, everyone.